All right. Let's see how today goes. I uh, won't be... Well, it's Friday. We're... I think we're late into... We're, we're mid to late season now. And... Yeah. I was making moves. Um... I'm hearing weird dings. Um, yeah, it's Friday. We're not probably not going to stream tomorrow. Um, got some stuff to take care of. But let's play today. And I'm getting it. I'm able to get on a little bit earlier just because it's been an intense day. But I added some more professional soundproofing. Um, AKA uh, um, a bag and a roller suitcase um, to my to stop the echo. So hopefully that will help the open room sound because I kind of had done a bunch of organization and took out a bunch of stuff. That's why it all of a sudden started to echo. Um, but yeah, so. I don't think there's much else to say. Uh, like I say, I think we're mostly through, oh, I would say two thirds of the way through the season. I think we have about eight streams left of it. And yeah, we're just gonna, just gonna hop right in. I do have my other stuff up just in case get called into something but we've been putting in a lot of a lot of time this week so I'm not too worried all right so Emma played a minus four we're not in first place on this tournament but we're ahead of our rival and that's really all that matters because we've won every tournament except for one up to this point so we're so far ahead as you can see in the standings so we're just gonna keep it going and we've had rough first rounds before so I'm not really worried about it Two but yeah and the PGA Tour. what Proud what you can expect today is me getting snarky with the announcers because, yeah, that's just how I roll. And complain about RNG. Really, that's the theme of these streams is complaining about the random number generator and hitting, hitting Emma's luck. And then the other side is the commentary being snark. Uh, I feel like Emma could use a shirt, shirt upgrade. And Jeremiah the Caddy, he, he just, he's, he's awesome either way. I don't think we need to change anything for him. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. Um, they talk about who who designed this golf course. I really don't know. It's like something die. Lovely I don't know. That. And Henny, what's he looking at here? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Let's see. Let's see how that goes. Oh, it's going to be the the twenty yard RNG. And he's safe on the green with that shot. Come on, Jeremiah, keep up with Emma. Oh, hey, how's it going? He's sixteen feet to the hole. How are you doing? Little birdie, look in here. I didn't. I thought. Did you change your your name from? I thought you moved your name around. Is, do you have two accounts? Oh, that's good. Because I thought you changed it to Vamp Willow. 
Maybe that's just a different account. How is work going? It's got a chance. Uh, a bit long on that one. Oh, okay. And this putt coming up for his par. I didn't know, and I thought you might have just changed the name of the one account. I wasn't sure. So it'll be a par to start their round. Very nice par indeed. Very solid hole play. Now you get to hear the, the new mic that I've been raving about on Nicole's stream. Now with the owner on a get to hear it in full action with my professional soundproofing, a.k.a. a hoodie over a chair and a couple of uh, roller suitcases to block the... Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Sorry, I got confused with the deets. That should find the fairway. But yeah, this is this is PGA Tour 2K23. Um, I don't hate it. It just is. What I may be hating is the fact that I decided to do four rounds of golf per tournament, and now it's turned into easily a 100-hour game. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Well, that's certainly but I appreciate you stopping by. There. That's impressive. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Just didn't drop. That's our rival. That's we were bad. talking smack on Twitter against Lydia Ko. And down there. You got a like, setting up this putt. I don't think she was prepared for Emma's smack talking game here. Hey, that's fair. I also am leveraging that technique right now. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. That will drive you bats. And that's for birdie. Heck yeah. And you see how I was like trying to putt 40 feet? Oh, maybe you need a deodorant sponsor there, Emma. That's looking a little aggressive today. Um, but they're like, that's disappointing. And I'm like, dude, it was like a 40 foot putt. This is Emma we're talking about. We're coming for you, Brian. Lovely momentum for this player. After what does that Brian do on the golf hole? course, anyways? All right, let's see what let's see what happens there. Opting for the five wood. This one might need to get down a little. Well, okay. The last time a six mile an hour wind happened, it slowed me down by thirty yards. Oh, well played. Well, this be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice. Also, birdie. if you're not familiar, I'll just throw that in there. Free the locks. Free the locks. Why would we block Emma's hair? They're flowing. I'm, I'm a firm believer of free the locks campaign here. Get the fist pump ready. This looks like it's going in. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. There has been a campaign and some debate with Zeus. Um, I know him in real life. Uh, he thinks we that Emma should be wearing a hat because somebody needs to control that hair. But I don't agree with that statement. Switching our focus to Lydia Ko. Yeah, she's down. She's behind her rivals. Yeah, and head. especially on a windy oh, day. A and then look at, I don't know if you saw you my caddy, Jeremiah, but he's got a boss mustache and some locks of his own. Not as, not as good as Emma's, but I would say also a solid, uh, solid game when it comes Getting to the look.
I mean, he's he's throwing off Dave Grohl game, is what he's doing. The the old drummer of Nirvana. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Yep, I've paced this. He's got around 195. Dude, you paced that? Henny, you gotta get out more, jeez. Opting for the hybrid, I think. All right, we're going with an extra club here. <laughs> Also fair. Is that a garage band? I've never heard of them. That's well played. Pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. Already made a few birdies today. And yeah, see, there's Jeremiah on the left. Look. He's got he's got a look too. To get to seven under the card. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Oh, well played. And with that. He'll move to seven under. Incredible. It's the pants. I love those diamond pants. I need momentum for this player moving up the leaderboard. <laughs> now on the team. <laughs> you know, you're actually right about that. Great opportunity to build on that momentum. Players want to move the tee shot from right to left on this hole because there's some trees on the tee box that'll kind of force you that direction. So driver may not be the play. The second shot. Driver is definitely the play. This green absolutely belongs in a skate park. This has more humps and bumps and wobbles in it. It is a very cool design. Like, look at the sand trap. Like... Did somebody forget to groom that sand trap? Like, well, I like the way this person's playing. There's He's weeds sticking through. Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. Let's see. I think we'll go pretty well. Yeah, that should be fine. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, come on, sit. Yeah, there's the five mile an hour wind that pulled it forever. And he's safely on the green. This part is about 16 feet. You're about 16 feet. Come back. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. Luke, I don't know if you know this or not, but nothing rolls like a ball. Wow, that's a deep thought there, Rich. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. All right, we jumped back up. We went from like seventh to this. Time to tee off at the sixth. Round one was pretty rough when it came to um, RNG. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. This shot. From around the 200 yard mark. Around. He leads the field by a stroke. We're just going to throw it right here and see what happens. Going with the hybrid. Not a bad shot, Emma. Wow, what a shot. You could probably quit that drumming gig. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Fun fact that Dave Grohl was about to accept a drumming gig with the band Guar. Oh, I knew oh, that so was going to break too much. Um, and he decided to try out for Nirvana just about three feet before he accepted this that gig. Have left for a part. That's a disappointing par in the end after such a terrific shot in. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? She got one back on that last hole. Oh, did she? Right? Yeah, back. Okay, so Nirvana had a, a an album by the name of Bleach that was produced in 1989 with their old drummer. He quit thinking the band was going nowhere. And, or creative differences or something. I don't know. And then right before Nevermind came out, Dave which they had pretty much had written the whole album. Dave Grohl tried out for Nirvana. Next. 
Um, but yeah, during that process, he uh, he had been try, trying out for Guar and got an offer to play for Guar. Think about that. How under underutilized he would have been as a drummer for Guar. On a hole that should be birdieable by everybody in the field. I have nothing against Guar for the record. Um, everyone, I just don't think Dave Grohl would uh, fit well with that band. Yeah. Oh, I knew I knew what you meant in the Exactly. And I think about think about this like alternate universe type thing. Think of what if he had his creativity in war in 1990 91 what actually would like where would have guar gone is lydia co she was in the sand so it drops what a play four feet to the cup I gotta answer this really quick. It's got a chance. And I actually saw Aguar at um at First Avenue a couple of times in the nineties. Now, two shots up. Uh, Don't ask me why or, or, okay, we could just leave it at that. Don't ask me why. Just a couple I mean, I guess the there's reasons. Here's the tee shot at the eight. It was fun. Wow, I didn't even know they had this power. Great drive. I think if I, I, I mean, obviously I'm not going to create a golf course, but if I ever, ever created a golf course, I would play with like shapes with the bunker and be like, have it make like different random, you know, uh, like pictures or whatnot. I think that would be hilarious. opportunity for a booty here i'm just i i just think it would be like i think it's super shot that i think golf is far too serious in the real world anyways and that um i think it just needs something to liven it up and, and just be like oh spot. after that hole keep it going oh am i hitting the the poo shaped um emo emoji go. of uh hole now you know, of the That's sand trap. The last. Let's see what they can produce here. Okay, so five. Oh, there's actually an alligator out. Or is that a statue? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, that was we are in point. Louisiana. What are we looking at for this part, Henny? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. See, we never know what kind of RNG. That six mile an hour wind took it like 40 yards past it. He's really holding his mouth open. I don't, I don't know, Mr. Alligator. Oh, that didn't break. He's a big boy. Big putt for Pi coming up. We're probably giving one back here. It's on a great line. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Now switching our focus. Yeah, so like, okay. 
She's trying I'm in, to I'm in Louisiana. This group I want a bunker or a sand trap, whatever, whatever term you use. A shape of an alligator. I want, oh, yeah. I want it to be a shape of an alligator. Me? Give me an oh, alligator shape bunker. In for Nothing better. I'm interested in my buddy Beamer's thoughts at this duel after nine holes. Look, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out, but so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. Like an oval shaped bunker. Who's that boring? Come on. Nicely done. Playing from around 110 yards out. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, you know, oh no, you just landed in the sailboat bunker. Like, that's... Uh, Or body, or like full contact Deep golf. Let's 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 make this a contact sport. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Like, oh my gosh, the caddy over for for Emma Jeremiah just just body checked the other dude. Like, I mean. Apparently my ball decided to start rolling again. We're off the green. Getting ready to play their third. Currently leading by two. Oh, that would be fun. Well, you like the look of those hands. Such soft hands. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Maybe I should play Mario Garf some, Golf sometime. That would be fun. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. The last course, there was a bunker that looked like Among Us, um, so I called it the 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 sus bunker. Yeah, I gotta I gotta start playing Just more Switch games again. I've been like in the rut of Breath of the Wild um, for so long. I wouldn't call it a rut. I love Breath of the Wild. It just that's what I. All I've been playing. Well, this should affect the ball flight. Not really. Pretty good shot there. There's a couple new games for the Switch that I want to play, but... And here we are with the third shot. He's got a two-stroke buffer. Just six feet between he and the hole. Yeah, I would. I, I've seen a stream on Cult, uh, Cult of the Lamb, and it's actually really, if it's the game I'm thinking of, it's really cute. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? She's currently. What do you think of that new Friday. spooky game? Let's see what happens here. Here's Lydia Ko. What I should pick up, um, 
Wow. What a it's Ori and the Blind Forest again. I play, I've play. i made it like an hour into it. In for the par. And leader is up by four shots now. maybe two hours into it. And then I it's a platformer, so it's a little bit more difficult for me. I'm not a, I'm not a huge platformer. Uh, but it's so cute. Yeah. But they weren't like scary jumps as much, right? Uh, at least that's what I saw. It escalated quickly too. It went from silly to all of a sudden I'm running for my life. Yeah. Oh, that was pure. Second shot here on the 12. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna just pop it right there. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Needs this one to kick right. You know, I don't need it to kick anywhere, Luke. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. I don't like his now energy. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. Yeah, she's down, she's behind, her rival's scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Just a heads up, when you start winning by a lot, so every I'm shot they, the they hit from the sand trap right, go. goes in. This for two birdies and the bunker's not even fun looking. I know, right? That's disappointing. Dude, it was Putting a 65 a foot now. putt. This looks good. That gets the job done. He's like, I'm just going to stand here awkwardly this is by the pin. Position. Brian, you stay at eight. Oh, he's already 18. He's done. He Next will stay up at is this two shot hole. I don't know. You think we should go for this? Let's go for it. I don't think we gained anything there, but Emma, Emma was just flexing. Second shot here on the thirteenth hole. This is looking pretty good in the air. You can roll a little closer. I don't really feel like putting. He's looking for an early KO against Lydia after that. Wow, she's on the ropes and maybe down on the canvas if he continues. That's a boxing reference oh, uh, for the people who don't watch boxing. She's talking about one sport in another sport. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. All right, I gotta just send a quick. <laughs> hey, Jackie, how's it going? First down, and the bases are loaded right now, Jackie. I don't know if you knew that. I'm sending a quick message to a friend on my other computer to say, have a great weekend. Dude, we are sporting so hard right now. Okay, so we were talking. Perhaps this game would be more entertaining if the bunkers were in shapes of, like, different fun shapes. Like, we're, we're in Louisiana. We need an alligator bunker right now. Um, 
Yeah, we just need some fun with bunkers, and the game might be a lot more fun. Or we need it to be full contact. That was a suggestion by me. Um, or we just need, like... I agree with that. I agree. And, and yeah, you, you know... I've already been a tad we snarky with the, the up to. Um, trying to pull ahead in this with the announcers. Delivery. Let's see what happens. Beautiful shot. Ah, nicely done. Great chip. Let's get back to it, shall we? Here's a good chance to move to 14 under with this putt. Fair enough. This for back to back birdies. This one's dialed in. Yeah, they're good momentum. You realize that we are approximately I like it two in a row. He's feeling it. One week and seven hours away from leading by six um, strikes after that one. D and D. Like I wanna see my caddy like take a run at Lydia Co. I just like Jeremiah, go for it. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Playing this shot. From about 180 yards. Downwind on this shot. Thanks for that color commentary, Rich. I don't think that added much Come to the... Get a good bounce to the left. You know, you got something there. You know... I, I think I would agree with that. And yeah, not a bad effort that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Even for the day. Now switching our focus. I would participate in a Monty Python golf tournament. Okay, let's get back to the action. Okay, Henny. I would actually pay money to do that. Yeah. Straight back up this hill. Like can be firm here. You're, you're on to something there, Jackie. I don't know if I could talk a golf course into doing a Monty Python golf course, but if I win the lottery, we are definitely doing that, and we're going to try. That'll sting a bit. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes, and it seems so in this case. He said sometimes twice in that Good sentence. Time, oh, that's right. I still need to watch that. I haven't watched much TV lately. Now for the event. Yeah, I win the lottery. We're playing a Monty Python golf tournament. Officially sponsored or not sponsored by the golf course. I don't really care. Like, that bunker's a little fun. I really, you know, I'm taking what I can with that bunker. It looked kind of fun. That dog will hunt. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Got to make sure to control the flight here because the wind was straight into their face. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. We're going with the pitching oh, wedge. That one's straight at the pipe. Oh, we should not have put backspin on it. That's inside the house of opportunity. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. Oh, what an excellent time to make a big putt like that. 
I feel that way more often than not. And maybe that's why I keep Discord open. He's currently sitting in Even though I'm in streamer place. mode. Um, because I I think about... I communicate mostly in GIFs. Ooh, we're at the par 3 here. I love these holes. Opting for the hybrid, I think. I think you were thinking correctly, announcer. That's completely fair. I believe that I unofficially yeah, that was minored really in in GIF there. and meme creation in school. What do we catch up with? What Lydia goes up to? She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. Actually, I was really proud of my boss the other day because her GIF That's slash meme game has uh, increased and, uh, and improved tenfold. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this part 10 feet from the cup. Looking for another birdie here. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. And down it goes. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Yeah, like, maybe the fans need hole. to be involved more, too. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's a little something missing. And after a birdie at the last, we'll take the honor on the hole. Like, at least, okay, so that sand trip on the right, like, at least make it, it looks like it's made sloppily. Like, at least be good at that. Like, if you're going to make the sand trap boring, you know, at least make it. You know, at least make it a good version of boring. Let's see what happens there. Well, there's your RNG kicking it to the right. We're going in the water, by the way. Oh, we stayed out of the water. I can't believe that. We somehow stayed out of the water. Getting ready to play their third. This is going to be an easy shot. Went in the hole. Yeah, but it's going off the other side of the. Yeah. You know. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, like a crowd control. I like it. Ooh, that almost went down. Just a short putt remaining here. The round now in the books. Good luck. Yeah, just do like a crowd control. And as the second round comes to a close, they've continued their wonderful play. A nice buffer there on top of the leaderboard. Flawless is what this player has been through two rounds so far, Luke. Absolutely flawless. Amazing performance. You know, his commentary during the round Brown, Henny Kuyak, did not McCarthy. state that oh same God, thing. He was so like, oh, this is flawless space. right now? You're changing history, man. All right, so we're up by six. A little bit of trap music. All right, let's play another round of golf.
I feel like I should at least do this at the first at the beginning of the round. Free the locks. Proudly presents the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Zurich Classic of New Orleans is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elman, well, I so didn't really have anywhere else to go, and the bunkers were lead. entertaining the enough. For them today? Well, they've they've got the lead, and there is a significant chasing pack, so they can't get too wrapped up in what's going on behind them. They've got to kind of keep their nose out front. They got to keep pushing along, and play the golf course. Don't think about who's chasing you down. Just think about playing the golf course. But if you do find themselves falling back a little bit, then they need to go ahead and start making a, a little bit different push, maybe come up with a different game plan. But right now, out in front, they just kind of have to play the golf course right now and, and keep that in their sights. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. I know we're a family-friendly stream, but, you know, uh, and he's down there. You know, from about part of me creating a golf yards. course, I can't promise that I won't make... Um, not appropriate shapes as bunkers. I'm just going to call it out there that if I create a, a golf course, there's more than likely non appropriate shapes. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Look at, I mean, think about it. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can do yeah, it so. for sure. I'm sorry, Jackie. This is their look at Birdie. I was feeling that earlier this afternoon, and then I had a meeting that went long and just ate up the whole afternoon. What a putt started this perfectly. Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, or or like a like. Hey, Salem, how's it going? Let's head to the next. That's a rock solid par right there. And now that finds him in first place. Yeah, or, or, uh, this one. I mean, it doesn't even have to be that direction. You know, we could, you know, oh, he, he landed in the martini glass. I know that's not inappropriate, but, you know, I just think we're going somewhere with this. Okay, somebody explain to me. Speaking of eggplant, okay, first shot. question the is, did my professional soundproofing work? And how's my echo compared to earlier in the week, uh, Jackie and Salen? Um, and second of all, how did eggplant become what you changed into in Kid Icarus when you got hit by that the, the um, enemy on level two or three? I'm still like three feet from it. That's why. I mean, I can scooch up, but I, I think I might do it. Uh, um, I might do a, a turn down the gain and put an arm up and have it closer. But we'll see what happens. We'll see where we go. But I appreciate that. I appreciate that feedback. But yeah, how did in Kid Icarus, Kit, because his name's not Icarus, Kit. How did um? And here we are with the third shot. How did? Why did they pick eggplant? I just don't get it, honestly. I I honestly don't get it. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see. Yeah, so there's it. a there's an enemy on like level two or three. Right where they are. That if you get hit by them, um, you turn into an eggplant. Here we are at the third. And you're you're an eggplant until. Okay, that's actually that's a fair statement. I will take that as a fair statement, Salen. I will. I mean, I don't even know if I can rebuttal that at all. Um, Looks like they've got the five wood. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. Talking about an extremely difficult game, 
in a game that makes zero sense. And one thing I learned recently is that that was, I think that was a release title. That was a release title in like. What's up, mate? Hey guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets it set for her next shot here on the tenth. Yeah, this is a birdie putt. Yeah, and maybe I maybe I need to go back and play it again. But it definitely was. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. I've seen a speedrunner play that game, and it's intense. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. I'll admit, it is more likely for me to do a full playthrough of of a Metroid game. And Salen, you know how, how I've felt in the past about Metroid. It's more likely me for me to do a full playthrough of that than it is of Kid Icarus. And the breeze has just got up. You see where the flags are flickering, and it's straight back up into this player. Going with the five wood. This one needs to kick left. But that Game Boy Advance one, um, I haven't played it since you and I talked before. But that one doesn't look that bad, and and I have a different lens now than I did back when I played it originally. Ouch! That hurts. And back to the course with the live action. How's that new game going, Jackie? Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Yeah, Metroid Fusion. Looking great now. That's a lovely stroke. Nice. Had eyes for the hole the whole way. Do you have you had to uh early and often? Cool. Yeah, this is quality play still on top that's good to hear i'm glad that that i know that was a little bit of ramping up but i'm glad that it it's really piqued the interest here at the fifth um, the have you had to um, grind too much to make sure you level up because i know it's really open world shot however that's where it gets interesting this green absolutely belongs in a skate park this has more humps and bumps and wobbles in it. It is a very cool design. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Playing from 110 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, wonderful shot and a chance for birdie at the fifth full of confidence as well with their putter gotta like their chances oh what about this stuff? all right emma's in the zone is putting for fun now leader really starting to get the field now their advantage is nine shots We've arrived at a par four. Oh, that's that's cool. Yeah, that does make it very D and D. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. around 100 that's that's completely out. fair went straight down okay so we're gonna we're just gonna do this looks to be going with the six iron I totally forgot I was that's making soup in the crock pot and I started smelling something um just now and I'm like oh that's right I'm making chicken tortilla soup in the uh, the crock pot today that's just inside the range What 
What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this part 14 feet What's in from front the of them? A couple of trees, some shrubberies. Yeah. Just bring us a shrubbery. Um, you know, a flag stick, a flag. Bad RNG. Gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Just a four footer remaining. That's a good punch. You must to bring make. us a shrubbery. Time to find out what's happening at the 13th hole. Oh, we're going to find out what's happening at the 13th. Lydia Co oh, City up here. A shrubbery. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. She's played that one nicely. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current Sir leader now Robin. enjoying a nine stroke lead. All right, we're pulling ahead. It's about time. Let's that first round was rough. The seventh. Pete Dye put a zit in the middle <laughs> of this fairway, <laughs> and it absolutely needs to be popped. It's almost like a magnet for your golf ball. You drive it in that fairway bunker, and you're absolutely beside yourself on how this your guy golf ball could end up in something likes to so say zit. small. It is a brilliant design, a brilliant bunker on a hole that should be birdieable by everybody in the field. Playing from around 230 yards. Well, we'll play from about 230 straight yards. At his back. What do you think? Right about here? I'm trying to use that hill. Well, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two. Dude, I As thought they should. Guardians, they play, Lionels, that play. Gannon for, you know, twice. That was a gallant attempt. Or Calamity Gannon, sorry. Okay, let's get back like, to it, shall we? Like, it does not take courage to hit a green on a second shot. Throwing that out there. I think it's going to break to the right. What do you guys think? I mean, or or it just takes really nice hair and and diamond pants. Either way. Emma's got the right stuff. He's making this look easy. Keep surging ahead. Oh, we just oh we just did the shooter Emma's McGaffin. Like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? Thank you. Like well, I almost had to make that because otherwise the announcers would have gone for blood. Anything within a hundred feet and I miss, they're like, ooh, that's a disappointment. It's not gonna be happy with and that one. Top spot after that hole. Keep it going. I mean I'm ten shots ahead. I think I would still be in top spot, but setting up now on a par four. Sounds good. I think that's been the theme of chat today. Is that everybody's still at work, but it's Friday. Handy effort, that one. Second shot here on the eighth. We're just going to do that. Just three feet to the cup. Right. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. This player must be in heaven. Yeah, I don't know if 11. that's that's a little extreme announcer. I don't know if heaven. I relate eleven one. ahead. Nice birdie back there. On to the next. All right.
I'm going to throw a little backspin here. Looks to be going with the five iron. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Not a bad approach that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. You don't know. Still counts. Let's take a look at Lydia Ko, shall we? Let's. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Ah, uh, she's a top quality player. This one. If I had hit that What's shot, he'd be like, oh, he's not going to be happy with Just that. Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. It is not downhill. Okay, steady now. It was uphill, then downhill. Putting for a par here. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. So is Emma's hair. You'll take it. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Here we are. We've reached the beginning of the back nine. The ten. You know, I'm really proud of you, Luke. Um, you, you really hit it on the head with that one we're 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 hitting the back nine the tenth i feel like there's a joke somewhere in there yeah that'll work that's fine and taking oh, maybe we should like yards if i build a, a golf a uh, golf right. course we'll put random like garden gnomes around too i'm feeling random garden gnomes that's the vibe I'm thinking. Going with the nine iron, I think. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it though. Let's see. Ooh, yes. That's nicely done. Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. I'm like totally thinking Jurassic Park um, themes in the in the clubhouse too. This one's tracking. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. I feel like this is. I don't think this is getting out of hand yet. I'm not going to say that. Insurmountable 11 strokes after that one. Not sure why I said potentially. Teeing off here at the 11th. At least make it look like a ghost from Pac-Man. Come on. You're better than this. That tee shot looks pretty good. Oh, that's right. We've got Mr. Tree in the way. I wonder what would happen if, like, a storm took that tree out. Like, they wouldn't just be able to replace that tree with it that big. Yeah, that one will play. Getting ready to play their third. Yeah, we'll play. What are you guys talking about? Like, you like that, didn't you? This putt coming up is for birdie. Are we in the third round or the fourth? We're in the third round. It's on a good line. Oh, just missed. It didn't break at all. There's and there's that RNG that I you, I promised at the beginning and I would complain top about. Spot on the leaderboard after that.
Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Like that bunker right there that I'm about to go in. Well, this is not a good outcome. Buried in the deep stuff. You're not a good outcome. Going with the hybrid. I don't know. I. And here we are with the third shot. Okay, that will play all right. I don't think we'll say par there, but you know, we bowled our best effort. It's not going to be a strike. Definitely not a strike. And Henny, what are they looking at here? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. Surely it's going to. Ooh, that looks like a pure strike. That looks like a spare. sits in first position that's a heck of a sign this hole is a par four thanks for that like you couldn't elaborate any better than that this one looks to be headed towards the fairway well this should be unpredictable don't know what you're going to get from the golfing gods here. The fairway. Second shot here on the 13th. I'm glad we got that from the golfing gods. It would have made things um, more interesting, nice I think. This putt is about eight feet. Ooh, Ooh. Right by the hole. I thought that was going to go. go here to the hole. The putt drops, and we're moving on. And staying right He seems so disappointed in parts. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. That's all I have to say back to that. That is all I have to say to that. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This one might need to sit. You know, chat is chat is in control of that. I do believe I offered Emma needs a new hat for three thousand points. Not bad. This is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. I'm just saying. If, if the sun's in Emma's eyes, it's Chad's fault. Ooh. Oh, you joined just in time. Salmon was just saying that Emma needs a new hat. I feel, I feel attacked. Oh, so close. Oh, we're for bogey now, aren't we? Just a tiny putt is all that remains. Our current leader is enjoying a 10-shot lead.
All right, you want it. All right, Zeus, so try that again. <laughs> That's fair. I like it. Try that again, Zeus. Try the exclamation point cover. Give that a little shot. See if it's come through yet. Sorry to pull away from the, the butt wiggle. There we go. Oh, absolutely <laughs> flat. Hemi, what's the player facing here? This is down breeze, so it's gonna be. I love that I can do that on the fly, screen. to be honest. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, that pulled Leads really far to, to the right. Left. That's fair. That's fair. They're not a bad shot, that one. We can update the chat command. Here we go. Up here. All right, it's updated to cover the locks. There you go. Your your chat chat command request has been updated. Oh, I might there might be a cooldown on it. Oh, I'm sorry. Good. And that's a great way to forget about that bogey on the last. Yeah, there's a five minute cooldown. We're not gonna. And after that hole, this player is ahead by a whopping ten strokes. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. All right. There it goes. I've I've down I've I've lowered it to a three minute. Appreciate that. A three minute user cooldown and a one minute global cooldown for everybody, so this looks to be heading for the cut stuff. I appreciate the victory the screech. Setting up this shot with the wind in their face. I feel like I need to club up one. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Yeah, we did. And that might be one club too many. I don't think it is. One club too many. Approach shot. This player not holding back in their rivalry with Lydia Ko. Yeah, that's why I'm hitting this way. It's the rivalry with the person who's like 20 strokes behind. Oh, there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Exactly. Zeus, how are you doing today? By the way, happy Friday. Well, the leader is really starting to gap the field now. They're 10 strokes ahead. Okay, I'm 28 strokes ahead of my rivalry. And she's talking about that's why I'm hitting why I am. Now at the 17th hole.
We're just gonna hit it over here. Opting for the five line. That's completely fair. Look at that eleven mile an hour wind pull it more than a seventeen mile an hour. Mm, that was a bit wayward. There's your RNG guys. It looked wet, didn't it? Getting ready to play their third. Win moving right to left on this shot. Choosing the nine iron here. And then it doesn't get pulled at all. Beautifully. Well, there's an, there's our next. That's probably going to be a double. This is an extremely long putt. They might even have to hinge on this one. They'll be happy to get this in the hole. This for bogey. Yeah, I'm happy with that putt. Just didn't drop. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. See, they are so disappointed when I do a great putt like that. They've just dropped a double bogey. Still in the lead now oh, after that hole. Bogey. Well, here we are. The 18th hole. There was no way getting around that RNG. Um, I clubbed up and pulled it way to the right. And it still Looks put like me in the water. Safely for the fairway. Okay, Zeus, you weren't in this conversation, but we're gonna we're gonna loop you in. Um, we decided that either we need to have a Monty Python themed golf tournament, and or both. Um, we need to design a golf course that has fun with bunkers at the very least, like different fun shapes. I'm going to say this on a family friendly stream. Some of them may not be appropriate for family friendly. That's the conversation you've missed out on. Um, now you're up to speed. Did I miss anything? Um, rest of chat that was here earlier. Oh, look at that. Just That's going in the sand trap. I mean, we can always do some Happy Gilmore stuff. Um, and then we're just going to... We're also... Not a bad spot. We're also thinking about quoting, like, random other sports. Be like, you know, this is, this is quite the basis loaded here on this shot. Didn't that look good for a long time? I put so I took so much off of that. I would fully support outside of Monty Python and the Holy Grail and do Monty Python. What are we looking at um, for this part, Henny? Yeah, that's uh, twenty-five. Flying circus and outside do chance. the minister of silly walks. Short game has um, been absolutely fantastic today. I, I would I would fully support that. Yes. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? He's got oh, I'm a funny. See if he can make it. Hey, I'm down for whatever. And welcome, Kavini. Your day comes to an end. <laughs> that bunny sound so that makes me laugh every close, time it's a lovely position this player holds. good i'm happy that i have shut down the work computer turned off the monitors could be a very and emma's playing some golf lots of players um of rich beam and all going to the north shore tomorrow Luke thanks for joining us see you next time and yeah how's your evening going there Is spring hit in the UK yet? Let's go play round four. 
Oh, so your brother got it back to you. Congratulations. Yeah, go feel... If, if you get a chance, go uh, follow or uh, support Kabini. Uh, their YouTube channel. Please. I'm not trying to bleed. Um, I will mangle it. But... Uh, Kavini is doing a bunch of different shorts now and um, working on writing and directing different shorts and leveraging the YouTube platform to um, to host those shorts. Um, and since it's spring, everybody's wearing shorts anyways, so you might as well go and do that. There's your dad joke. Um, but yeah. Great, great friend of the channel, great friend of me, and, uh, you know, been, been here since the beginning, so. And let's see what he can do here today. And, you know, you know you can always throw the, I know, I actually was, okay, I was talking about this today, about you used to throw puns in my chat all the time that first year, and how I miss them. Oh, I was actually at my, my day job, I was talking about that. Uh, so I do miss that. I should add that as a re redemption. Um, and get a dad joke book. Yeah, feel free to throw the URL for your YouTube in chat if you want. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on you for that. Oh, well done. And this putt is from birdie three on the score But card. I would say Cabini is probably from the group of my first first ten followers oh, outside of like my four friends that followed me right at the beginning. It's for par. I would say you're my first five followers outside of my my four friends that started from day one. So yeah, Cabini's been here since since uh inception yeah right we were brainstorming emote ideas if we ever got affiliated that's tiny second shot on the second why was cinderella bad at soccer Anybody else want to chime in on this one or uh opting for the five wood. Feeling strong, going for less club. I'm glad I went for less club. Goodness, I should have put backspin on there. Because she left the ball. Sets up a wonderful opportunity. Absolutely love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. Yeah, that actually is a really good guess, Cabini. I'm playing golf, so I can't answer. Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes on the hole. Oh, that's a good guess too. Oh, that settles the nerves right Oh, there. you great stuff. Oh, what a shot that was. Nice. Why don't we revisit the magic? They got their putting boots on here. Look at how this ball rolls end to end. Thing of beauty. Why is the okay? Somebody tell tell me this. Why is the group of people standing behind the shrubberies like they're fearful or that they're going to pounce Emma? Come on. Like and now that finds him in first place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our oh, is way out took him two holes to say that. Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last. Oh yeah. Uh, 
I think Emma's high on confidence right now. Do you guys think Emma's high on confidence? Opting for the hybrid, I think. You fought correctly, dude. Oh, I could have taken more off of that. Quality shot, that one. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? He'll be happy to Couple hold of this. Couple trees. Foot. The audience. They're going to complain that I left it short. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Yeah, it's just about three feet. Yeah, no PEDs here. Par putt here. No PEDs. Good looking putt. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this you're, final round of action. Just for the, the people who don't usually join the golf stream, just a heads up. You're going to hear that I don't think the field's going to catch them at least 10 more times before I finish this tournament. Just so you know. Um, I wish there would be a trigger in the code that once I got to like 10 ahead of the person in second, they just stop saying it. Uh, great shot. This one from about 160 yards out. Going with the eight iron here. I thought the eight iron would be good. Comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the four. Solid work, Emma. Been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Butting for birdie. Wow, they certainly got out of the right side of bed today. Just the start they were looking for. Oh, I didn't even know that was an eagle. On, on hole two. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. He said it three holes in a row. Here at the fifth. Players want to move the tee shot from right to left on this hole because there's some trees on the tee box that'll kind of force you that direction. So driver may not be the play. The second shot. However, driver is definitely the play. This green absolutely belongs in a skate park. Skate park. This has more humps and bumps and wobbles in it. It is a very cool design. From around 140 yards. <laughs> Clap, clap, clap. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. And thank you for making me dance to the Stray song. Opting for the 9 iron. All right, he's going with. I left that. Extra by the way, Zeus, I purposely the left game. that Let's extremely loud because we need it to that That's level. A good looking shot there. Momentum putts come in many shapes and sizes. This one's a 13 footer. All right, guys, <laughs> this for nice, two birdies nice in a row. I definitely dance every time I hear that, that Stray song. Go on, get in the hole. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. That is definitely a confidence builder. Leading by a phenomenal <laughs> we've been we've been playing playing this is the dad joke game uh, their advantage now out to I appreciate digits. that I'm not sure if the chase yeah. back is good enough to catch them and now teeing off on this path. I have to play penguins intro Of course, I got to play Penguin's intro music, too. Now that they said something besides Lurk. Because I'm guessing the audio is up at that point. That drive, heading straight towards the cut stuff. 
Oh, Cavini's on fire now. But Henny, what are you seeing down there? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. <laughs> yeah, and for the people who don't know, uh, I think I played that once for for Penguin uh, as a joke, and now it's become her theme song. Going with the seven. Let's go into the right. Uh, that's going right. I'm okay with that, though. And here we are with the third shot. I don't want very crafty, isn't it? Judging it beautifully. And if this can go down, he'll save par. Cavini's on fire. You're going to take all the good dad jokes before I even get a chance. An extraordinary performance. This player is now good. strokes in front of the field. Yeah, and we're... I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Once this round's up, we're going to do a quick stretch, and then we'll, we'll play another tournament. There are two bunkers on this hole. The far one, the one right in the middle of the fairway, it looks like a zit from the back tee box. That is not the place to be. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. <laughs> well, I'm not telling you that you should slow down. I'm just saying that I'm not going to have a chance then. But there's been zero plan to get a, a dad jo joke book and play them. So I put backspin on this thinking that it would go through the green and it did not. It somehow slowed way down. Getting ready to play their third. All right, let's see what that does. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? It is. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Well, at least they didn't say I don't. After coming off a birdie here with this shot. I, I, at least they didn't say I don't think he. The rest of the field's going to catch him. That's a big drive. Time for the second shot at the eight. I really should um post my Manish Cap YouTube. Uh, today since I'm not going to be out in technology tomorrow. Well played, mate. If anybody's interested, to the cup. Looking for I'm actually probably going to cancel my Twitter because the two, two um, factor thing that they're taking away from me eventually if you don't pay sign up for their pay service you no longer get two-factor but i still have it up in my list of links but if you're enjoying this nice by strike. all means hop in yeah nice mid-range birdie putt that one i like it two in a row i've been adding adding just raw playthroughs um on my youtube and there might be some edited down stuff coming but right now it's just my my twitch streams in this final round of action time now to take in the ninth hole yeah i i had duo and then i took it off um because i had to use it for um a contract i did back um at an old job but i don't know if i have it in me for twitter it just it just seems I would think that 
I don't like the idea of taking a service that's already been offered away from you. Um, yeah, I get it that you want to offer somebody something to pay, but I think taking a service away and, and only offering it to somebody who pays going forward is a, a bad way to get people to choose the pay service. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Downhill putt there, Luke. Just missed, judged the pace there. Didn't want to be too bold with it. Oh, yeah. Hey, so you get what I'm saying with the... It's a money grab. Um, I, I totally oh, agree with that. And we're and moving on. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up, and the player's perfectly positioned. That's completely fair, Cavini. <laughs> so and, impressive. And All Jackie, got, yeah. It's, gotta say, I don't, player is on I don't use Duo right now. So it's not installed on my phone. And I just... I'm going to be honest with you. I have six followers on, on Twitter, and you're one of them. That should find the short stuff. Yeah, I totally get that. Um, Second shot here at the 10th. Like, like, if I had more followers, I guess I would be a little bit more worried about it. But I really... I don't have much going on. So I'm just like, all right, well, do it now when I when it's fresh and I'm not really happy with the move. But I definitely am going to see where that YouTube stuff goes because like right now it's just the raw playthroughs. You stay way alligator. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. Yeah, exactly. And I don't like a platform that um, that takes security away from their general audience. I, I quality looking shot this one. That should find the short stuff. To be honest, I just. Time for the second shot at the 11th. And, and don't get me wrong, anybody. I don't, I don't care if anybody else takes the same path. So, so please don't take it like I'm trying to ask other people to do what I do. I just don't feel it is my arena. Slow down. Yeah, this is the stuff we love. Getting after this par five in two. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. And he's down there. You got to read. And he's I was... Be careful this doesn't get away yeah. from him here. This is downhill. And I was never a huge Twitter user originally. And I did it just to see... Um, to follow, honestly, some Disney stuff and some video games, and that's about it. Oh, that's frustrating. That's disappointing. This one's for Birdie. I agree with that. And I agree that with you on that. Give them Birdie number six on the day. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. In other news, my soup is smelling really good. I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Yeah, it's going to be chicken tortilla. From around 170 yards here. Yeah, and not to get too much detail, but Vail Resorts did a similar move with a money grab with their annual pass holders, and that's the main reason why I won't ski Vail Resorts anymore. Or snowboard, I should say, since I'm a snowboarder. This one's got eyes for the flagstick. 
He's looking for an early KO against Lydia after Dude, the KO happened a long time ago. I'm like 30 shots ahead of her. On the canvas if he continues. That's a boxing reference again. has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Ouch, that hurts. That did not hurt. Look at the break. And just a little bit of cleanup work remaining on this hole. Nice, Cavini. Nice. But unfortunately, they walk off the green with a par. Unfortunately. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. So, I'm not sure if the uh, chase back I talked to, to catch them. well, obviously, um, talked to Cabini. Cabini lives in the UK. I won't say any, any more details about that, but Cabini lives in the UK. I also talked to a lot of people in Argentina, and um, they're going to help me. They're going to send me some mate. I don't know if you know what mate is, but mate is a bitter tea drink that a lot of Argentinian people uh, drink. And we're trying to find a way to get it up to the Midwest because they, they keep telling me I need to try it. Yeah, it's bitter, and I'm like, and they're like, yeah, it's an acquired man. taste. You so might not, not like it, and I'm sure. like, but I drink coffee, and I drink coffee black. This is some ball striking, hitting greens and regulation. It's a thing of beauty. But they're also, they're also trying to tell me I need to go visit them. So, I I would love to go see nice Buenos Aires. That's tracking. Just building upon his advantage. Hey, Salem, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you stopping by chatting it up i don't hold it against you that you think i should cover uh, emma's locks with a hat uh, we all have our opinions and some of our opinions are wrong um but i do appreciate you hanging out if you play any breath of the wild this weekend have fun enjoy it i don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action always positive coming off a birdie let's see what happens here oh so you've had it pam i i want to know more about this this is new information was it good? Did you enjoy it? Um, yeah, what was your experience? Goodness, I didn't know I had this this resource near me. Going with the hybrid. This definitely went further than I expected. Yeah, Salen, if you're still here, have a great weekend, man. I appreciate you hanging out. That's fair. I do miss T Tivana, though. I, I enjoyed Tivana um, quite, quite a bit. They had a raspberry tea that I really, really enjoyed. Ooh, right by the hole. That'll sting a bit. Oh, I could see that. Just yeah. Three feet to the cup. From with what they've described to me, I could see that that being a mixture. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. This hole's a tough two shotter, a long par four. And that's a nice strike. This one should find the fairway. Oh, that, I'm sure that was tasty as all get out, too. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 185 yards. Well, and that's... Like, I wish they would have stuck right. Thanks, Cabini. was a beauty gotta like their chances from there so hey cabini are you gonna have to edit that down a lot or or do you think it's close the video on youtube oh that had eyes for a lovely shot and yeah nice see it must be to have that sizable of a lead i like bitter things 
I have never been a huge into sweets, but like sometimes it's just weird that I'm just like, oh, I really want something sweet. It's all about time to see who is going to get it done. Well, we're going for this. Like, why did you choose a three wood? Okay. That's going off the edge. They'll all boo. Okay. That's cool. And from the green side rough here. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. A birdie putter waits. The puck drops, and that's back to back birdies. Back to back birdies moving the right. Yeah, I gotta get there, Luke. I gotta do a longer, I gotta do a more, a better starting, a longer stretch and an ending scene. So I'll have some editing to do sooner or later, too. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie, a great opportunity to build on that momentum. I'll be I'll be honest, Kavi, I really like Da Vinci um, for my editing. It's really treated me well. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. I know you had you had used something. You told me what you used. I don't know if you. Well, there's a very good reason why. Yeah, I was gonna say you used something different. Another green. You've you've had good luck with Vegas Pro. Absolute clinic. I know we talked about this like two years ago. I just got a videographer for a friend, and he recommended it. So I was just like, hey, if he thinks it's solid, I got to do it. And now that finds him in first place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. And that's, you know, that's been four or five years now. So I've just been like, all right, yeah. The tournament here, holding the lead, playing the last. It's amazing how quiet the people who want Emma to have a hat on is with the channel points. They definitely, you know, they're talking Emma needs a hat, but they don't want to stand up and actually put it in, in chat. You know that's the thing about Da Vinci though is is a non-commercial license is free because they they want um if you're making less than a certain amount a year they want you to get used to it so you want it when it's enterprise license. Okay, go for it. Well, Once this we're we're on hole 18 of this round, we'll go buy a hat. I tell you what. Or use an existing one. This player stepped up their game. A bold play. Hopefully a bold reward. Zeus has asked for a hat because I was being snarky. This is going to be way short because I hit it way short. Not the end of the world. There's another chance here to close out the victory. I mean, nowhere. Oh, there it is. I gotta pop out the re redemptions. All right, well, we'll finish the round of golf, then we'll pop out the redemptions. Looking really good, this one. Oh, so close. 
All right. Rich, it's time you and I All right. So Emma won that round of golf, even with a, a garbage beginning. Uh, this player taking a big bite out of the big easy with this win. Yeah, I think you're right there. Give me. All right. So we're going to get up and stretch and then Zeus stick around, pick the hat when we get back. Because I need to get up and stretch. Um, if you're cool with that. Are you going to stick around for a minute, Zeus? Or Henny, or do you want to pick that? He is waving that the trophy around like it's nothing. And to win the event? What a performance. Yes, Luke. No one could catch this player, let alone their rival. Yeah, Zeus, are you going to stick around for a minute so we can pick the hat when you get back? Thanks for tuning in and see you next time. No, I, I want you to pick which hat. I You know I'll wear a hat. I just want to make sure you pick. Pick it for us. Oh, you... I don't know if... Well, Kabini says a Fez, but I don't think I can do that. The closest thing I have to that is the Gilligan-looking hat. Oh, Tiger, we're coming for you. Oh, the bucket hat? Yeah, but I like saying Gilligan hat. All right, we're gonna go take a quick, quick stretch. Feel free to stretch also. It's gonna be about two minutes, two and a half minutes. I'm going to throw an add on for, for metrics on, um, on the ones that aren't subbed. By all means, feel free to, to hop into this uh, stretching. I got to go stir my soup. I'm going to play the stretch scene for the people who are subbed. And we'll be back in about two and a half minutes. Did everybody get a stretch in? Hopefully so. The soup is going well, if anybody wants to know. All right, so Zeus, are you back? All right, you never left. Okay, we've got these are our options of what I have. I have a visor. And then we can buy one too. So if you don't like any of these options, 
we do have the bucket hat that I've dubbed Gilligan hat. And that is, we can show you the other options. Let's go to the pro shop. Get a free, free cup of soup with this. So we've got the Puma looking hat, as well as the Gilligan bucket hat. If you like these, or we can do any of these. But if we do this style, let's check what I own already and not spend the 400 bucks. These are expensive hats. What are you thinking, Zeus? You want the Gilligan hat? We can do it. I mean, look at Emma. Emma, Emma looks good in it. Don't get me wrong. Do you like this look? I mean, Don't defer to me. You you spent the 3,000 points, man. You can defer to the rest of chat, but not me. I'm not allowed to chime in here. Chat, what do you think of this ad? Or should I go one of the other ones? Pam says bucket hat. Let's do it. It's done. I thought I already purchased. Did I purchase this? Right, let's go see if I have it. Yeah, well, look at what Zeus redeemed further up in chat, if you're... Alright, so we're... Do I have to? Oh, I don't have enough for it, Zeus. I only got $380 because my sponsors suck. So we're not going to be able to do the, the bucket hat. We're going to have to go into the locker room. Unless you want me to wait a tournament. And then put the hat on the second tournament. Oh Zeus, I was saying, I am $20 short because my sponsors suck. So I can't buy the hat. I need to, um, we have to choose one that I own or, or you can wait a tournament and I'm sure I'll make 20 bucks in the next tournament. Okay, so everybody, Zeus, which one do you think? Should we be telling people we play golf? He re redeemed needs to, Emma needs a hat. For 3,000 points. Oh, you don't want this one? Okay, no golf. I see an N. Uh, so he gets... Emma has to wear a hat for a tournament. Okay, so Zeus. Row one, two, three, or four. And then would be your first number. And then your second number would be one, two, three. So one, two, three. And if you don't like anything in this selection, we can go and grab the visor. What do you think?
Things are getting serious right now. You can tell things are serious with the dramatic music in the game. Oh, we're going Jordan. All right. All right. That's Emma's wearing a hat for a tournament. If we lose this tournament, I might have to allow everyone to hate. <laughs> Zeus won that battle. Um, uh, I might have to have to call out Zeus on if we lose this tournament it might be Zeus's fault all right Wells Fargo Championship at Quail Hollow just so everybody oh, just so everybody knows this is how many tournaments we're, we're through and we have one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 left. All right, let's go play. And yes, we did talk smack to Tiger on Twitter because guess what? Tiger, you got nothing on Emma. You almost have to beat the tournament to win Ti against Tiger, by the way. So, just so you know that everything's on the line and then we put a hat on. We've changed the routine. This is like putting the left sock on before the right sock when you've Tricky always won a game with putting the right sock on PGA first. Tour is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Wells Fargo Championship is about to begin. Yeah, Penguin, uh, did we get you up to the speed? So I added a uh, redemption for 3,000 um, to put a hat on Emma for one tournament. So all four days Emma's wearing this hat. got two players who appear to have entered into quite the rivalry. Well, Henny, quite a challenge that this player has set for themselves. We've seen them beat many of their rivals this season. Oh. But there are not many people that can go up against the great Tiger Woods. And Little did I know that because we're wearing a hat, Jeremiah's wearing a hat. Did you see that? This is going to be a very entertaining group to follow indeed. I'm jumping around in my seat and I can also see Rich Beam doing exactly the same. He managed this feat back in 2002 when he won the PGA. Oh, now he's going to talk about Tiger forever. Oh, please, Luke, don't mention that. Once we get Rich on his high horse, there's no getting him down again. Although he has shown... That yeah, that's fair. And, and Jeremiah is a good dude. Beaten. However, it is such a tall order. I know that this player has beaten all of these incredible roster of players in all these rivalries so far but come on this is tiger woods can it really be Penny, done today i don't well, like your attitude ma'am get answered aren't we very few people have ever laid claim to beating tiger head to head good luck in your rivalry you're gonna need it a wonderful shot and a chance good luck to tiger first. in my rivalry right on four only one person has this beaten one. me this is what they have left for birdie here Oh, terrific. What an effort. I've never been disappointed by starting off. Tiger eagled that. I can tell you that. We Tiger hit three. Up. He hit it in from the fairway. And coming off the booty, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Just an FYI. The game had Tiger eagle that. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 165 yards. Going with the seven. We put a little bit of backspin on it, but not a huge amount. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Nine feet. Yeah, there's no way Tiger can this keep up with that. For a birdie, birdie run. 
Yeah, we're our RNG is not gonna play birdie on this one, is it? This is looking solid. Oh goodness. Wanted. Well done. Take the birdie. And I like it. Two in a row. At minus two, coming along nicely today. Minus two. Look at Tiger got a birdie there too. This hole here is a par four. I always expect him to keep talking when he says this is a par four. It's like, I just keep going, man. Nicely done. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. This one is chewing fiber. I still don't know what that means. Oh, that's a lovely looking chat. Show. Do you chew fiber? Here at the third. Let's catch up with Tiger Woods, shall we? Miss. Miss it. Miss it. Wow, from a dodgy lie ridge. How special was that? Well, when your rival plays golf every single second of the day and eats birdies for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, this is what you get. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Yeah, you know. Okay, so it's like. Right the blade. Oh, okay. I do. I do enjoy the mini wheats as well. I have not had those for a long time. Minus three for the event. That's a nice little water feature. Never a bad thing. And after a birdie at the last, we'll take the honor on the hole. All right, so we're going to just put a little bit of backspin here. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Oh. The two mile an hour wind played against us, guys. Always frustrated by missing a green. And coming up well. Hey, short. Trey. How are you doing, man? Happy Friday. Oh, that one just missed the hole. We're chewing fiber today, if you didn't know. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful out of the sand. If he makes this, he'll save his par. And in she goes. That's a good save. Good par save there from the greenside bunker. Job well done. Currently at three under. For the I'm not even on the... Teeing off here at the fifth. Pretty good. We've been having a fun chat. Um... You'll notice Emma has a hat on. Thank Zeus for that. That one was fired out of a cannon. We did uh, add uh, a call out, exclamation point, cover the locks. Yeah, he's about 155 um, from this whole location. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm a bunny. I appreciate that, Kavini. <laughs> Needs this one to kick right. That will never, I don't think that will ever not make me laugh. Nicely played. What are we looking at um, for this part, Henny? Firm back up the hill. This will be a good Yeah, Kavini has been sharing some dad jokes. Um, and we decided we needed a Monty Python tournament. What have I missed, chat? I feel like I've missed something to get Trey up to speed. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. That sounds good. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Why don't we catch up with our man in the hot seat, Tiger Woods? Oh, he's Tiger in the sand in the and for birdie. Looking to hold that lead here. Well, that's a beautiful bunker shot there. And after that effort, I think you almost have to lose to Tiger once, and then, I don't know. Oh, we're tied with Tiger right now. 
Okay. Here we are at the sixth pole. Completely fair. Have you tried mate? You should try mate sometime. Yeah, by all means, Trey, go for it as long as it stays family friendly, right? And this part to move into a share of first place. Yeah, we're about to hit first place here. No, we're not. Look at that break. There is no way we're hitting first place. It was a gallant attempt. Man, that should secure the par on this one. If you're not cool with dad jokes, you aren't cool with me, I'm going to say. Now heading over to Tiger Woods. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he Oh, he's going to birdie? Oh, what a big putt to make that one. Fist pumps all round. That is how you do it from outside range. That was huge. Teeing off here at the seventh. <laughs> oh, That's a think piece, isn't it? Drives, heading for the fairway in my eyes. I might go to the first cut. Lining up from about 230 yards here. Only one shot off the pace. What the heck are you doing here? Of course we're going for this. Looks like they've got the five wood. We do. Actually, that's a really funny one, and I'm surprised I haven't seen that one in any of the spooky streams yet. I was on the top of the ridge, and it moved to the right of the ridge. So now I have the whole, like, I would rather have it roll off at this point, because then I could chip it. And here we are with the third shot. Currently a shot off the lead. That would actually be really funny. Foot chance here. He's got this to move into a tie with Tiger. <laughs> That's another good one. Dude, this is a hard hole. That putt ends up just short of the hole. Wow. Shocking to say the least. How do you miss that? You simmer down, Rich. I've had enough of your sass. We've arrived at a par four hole. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. The sass level of these announcers are a little high. I've seen that one before, Cabini. Second shot here on the eighth. That was close. If I were the computer, I would have hold that out. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. It sounds like he has to take it down. Checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the ninth. Oh, yeah. 
a shot of the day. See? And that'll certainly help her chances here. I'm telling you right now. Whenever they say there's something brewing down below, I feel like I'm in an afternoon special and somebody's got got the yeah. Next up is this par four hole. It's like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. This is the second shot here on the ninth hole. Why did you club me down so much? Opting for the hybrid, I think. All right, going with a little bit more club. Yeah, like Let's four see. clubs up. This player showing zero signs of any nerves as they play against their rival and playing partner, Tiger Woods. What a fantastic approach. An opportunity for a birdie here. I know, I've already blamed Zeus. I said, if, if, if I lose this tournament, it's because of the hat. And we know who chose the hat. Just missed. A par putter waits. Uh, I've already got a backup strat here on, on if we lose. Couldn't convert <laughs> after two good shots. Their disappointment as they're so close <laughs> to the lead. I mean, it was a top effort, that one. So we, I would love to see where the ball's going, but I guess you could say Zoomed in on Tiger. Zeus, how's Manish Cap going? Have you been playing at all? What have you been playing lately? The back nine at Quail Hollow presents all sorts of challenges, Rich, and it opens up with a, a generous offering here at the 10th. The bunker down the left-hand side is only carried with the longest of tee shots. Leave it a little bit out to right. You're going to have some tree trouble on your second shot. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Oh, nice. So you're up in the clouds? Time for the second shot at the 10th. Oh, playing the foosball, okay. That's fair. It's gonna roll off, but I'm okay with this. Oh, I guess it's rolling all the way into that bunker, okay. Oh, and the players yeah. Left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. How good was that bunker shot? Putting for birdie here. If and it were the first. computer, that would have gone Moving in. up the leaderboard. I like it. Okay, I get I get which one you're at. Birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Oh no. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? You're gonna need one or two clubs more because this green is sitting up. Yeah, but so am I. Well, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. Nice. And well, I appreciate you hanging out. It'll find the green. Enjoy the game. Our play today has been absolutely stellar, Luke. The greens and regulations. I will be uh, fantastic. 
catching Tiger Woods, even though I'm wearing a hat. And just just remember. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. He's in the sand, so I don't know what's going to happen here. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. So after that, and that was from like 200 yards out. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Oh, thank goodness! I got ahead. Let's head to the 12th hole, shall we? Let's. Let's head to the 12th hole. Don't you roll off. Well struck. And he's down there. And from around one Was that a question? Yards. Yes, Henny's down there. Going with the pitching wedge here. Stop. Don't you go to the right. Wonderfully played. Wonderfully Turned played. To seven under par with this putt. I'm going to just throw it over here and see what happens. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And that should secure the par on this one. Oh, yeah? Share it out. Oh, Rich, is there anything more is it related to eating is eating fiber, but not wearing a hat, um, Monty Python, but Tiger Woods is um, second place. or... What else have we talked about today? There's a lot we've talked about today, so we'll leave it at that. Oh, we talked about Dave Grohl, too. Um, the almost drummer for Guar. A wonderful shot. A chance for Booty here on the 13th. Why don't we catch up with our man in the hot seat, Tiger? A high fiber, Monty well, Fiber. Behind, just in second place, looking to leapfrog. Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course, but no bother for this player. This putt's about four feet from the hole. This is their look. Oh, nice. Body. I figured that she had to be somebody pretty important to, to be in this game. And that will take him to seven under. And Zeus, by the way, they currently lead. seven under in the first round is not second. bad, as you've seen in the past. So we're only giving you sass about the hat. But when you stand on the tee here at the 14th at Quail Hollow Club, Rich, you're given two choices. Do you lay up or go for it? You go it for it. It begs you to take out the big stick and go for it. However, most days, the proper play is take an iron out and lay it up down the right-hand side, opening up the green for the second shot. I mean, we're going for it. I could have let that roll out some. Well, that's a pretty good play there, Rich. Right up near the surface. Yeah, the true enemy is so RNG. For a birdie, hopefully an eagle. Second shot here on the 14. Very crafty, that shot. Love watching this player around the greens. I know, and I was 20 bucks short of being able to buy the Gilligan hat. 
I hope I get an offer to wear a fez later in the game. I would. Time to hit a good one here at the 15. Tee shot is looking good here. I'd say it's looking pretty good. Eight under for the day. Currently in top spot. Sounds good, Trey. And also sounds good, Cavini, for having a Fez. I'm proud of you. I kind of feel like I need to play it out here. Because I have more green to work with then. Yeah, I like that play. That a boy. Good shot. Getting ready to play their third. Currently leading by two. I feel like. Like that. Nice recovery there. Gotta say, <laughs> his short game is phenomenal. A chance for a booty if this goes down. That's that's completely completely fair. I'm a little bit so. Some of you in chat know that I love Phineas and Ferb, and there's an episode where Perry the Platypus wears a fez, and I love it. Second place, hoping to overtake the leader. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. And look out, guys! This rivalry looks like it's going to get pretty interesting today, as he's making up some ground on his playing partner. Now okay. Leader is up by three shots. I'm sorry you missed that episode, and sorry to turn your world upside down, Penguin, with informing you, you that I like Phineas and Ferb. Hole at Quail Hollow Club, you're reminded that you're entering the Green Mile. Again, only the long players can carry the bunker down the right hand side. I did know that. Get it out to the left. And I'm not that saying bunker, that Penguin give yourself the best opportunity text to me the, the day they zone. announced it as well. But that may have happened. They should have never taken away anyways. They it's because of the stupid Disney rule. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? This whole location for him, well, it's about a hundred and eighty five yards out. I feel like you're messing up, man. Over it. That's yeah, the Disney rule. Yeah, Pam, I, I'm sorry to. I'm. I feel you're missing out. I would just say that. Six feet coming up. Um. Yeah. S I M P. Squirrels in my pants. There are squirrels, in Candace's Candace's pants. The Disney rule where, um. They have a, a cycle, that only two, two cartoons have made it or two. Yeah, not, not just cartoons. Two uh, shows have made it past. Yes. And right. it's the three-season rule. Um, and Still currently in the lead they do a, a kind of a momentum thing where they feel that the, the, the wheelhouse of a show is three up or three seasons so after three seasons they cancel the show no matter how popular it is the only two show series that have made it past these three seasons was kim possible and phineas and ferb but they did it so late with phineas and ferb there was a gap between season three and four that they lost a lot of momentum in season four so they ended up canceling after season four but then there was a resurgence of people wanting to see that show again. So they're talking about bringing it back in. But they had a rule that TV shows only go three seasons. Otherwise, they overstay their welcome. And I think, Hat, yeah, I, I totally get it. But it really is a case-by-case -case scenario because Phineas and Ferb, had they not broken season three and four up, would have had momentum. 
a nice approach shot there. Pin high. And I don't know what how it would have played out, but what an opportunity to make a birdie. Looking back. Is that gonna make it? Nope. Uh, look good for a while, but unable to drop just inches away. That hole's yeah. Done. And with that hole behind us, they're currently in the lead with Tiger. Well, we're minus ten. Seconds. I gotta admit, that's pretty good. Well, if you think you've passed the that's worst of it, not as good as no hat, but. Well, hello, club. Think again. Welcome to the last. Yes, water going all the way down the left-hand side of this fairway. That bunker on the right has crippled many a player. But it's so weird to me, Kabini, because they'll drill sequels to movies into the ground, but they want to leave the TV show enough for people to want more. I, I just, yeah. I guess that's where I'm confused. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Chewing fiber. Sounds good. We'll be here. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th. And a chance for Booty. Probably Lee. talking about Dizzy. Are you going to quick go watch Phineas and Ferb? This putt just five feet away from the hole. Gets that one to go down, and that'll end the day's work. All right, so we hit a 60. And with that, this player will be delighted with their performance today up there on top of the leaderboard. It was a lovely round of golf. Lots of golf yet to be played, though. I'm interested to see how they have Oh, he right lost out. one on the final hole. Well, that was a thrilling day. And on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, thanks for your company. We look forward to the next time you join us. Oh, like, um, like it's Ferb's family and Phineas. That'd be interesting. Oh, we got a hundred and twenty-five dollars. Oh, a little bit more. <laughs> okay, I got. I. I. Sometime I'll have to tell you the story about getting kicked out of that show. So that that band is from from Dallas, Texas, and I spent some time in Dallas, Texas, um, and. Uh, we got kicked out of, they played um, for free. And this is back in the early 2000s. And we got kicked out of that show four times in a single night. Let's play some golf. Yeah. Tour, proud to bring you the season long race for the you know I used to be a bartender, right? So I knew everybody. So we got let back in. Begin. Please, you could join us for this second round action. G'day, everyone. Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer, as they begin their round, what do you think of their chances? Yeah, it's right now the game plan is working, but they still have to go out there and play off the front foot, play on offense, and not worry about who's chasing them. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. All right, so we're at a minus 11. You know, of course, look at the wind now, especially, hey, if Trey's back, check out that wind. Of course, with how good I did the first round, the wind came up. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Playing from around 190 yards out. Downwind on this shot. Going with the six iron here. 
Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Now this wind really starting to get up. That was well managed. Yeah, it is. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this putt nine feet from the cup. Little birdie look in here. If it's up, it could be in. That's impressive. He just keeps extending his advantage over the Well, field. and the fact that I've known Penguin for a decade. And looking at the standings now, and they're currently in first place ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Zeus, I've known four years as of tomorrow. Zeus, did you know I met you four years ago tomorrow? If you're still here. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that show. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Puff of wind blowing right to left for him. Yeah, because um, I, I met Zeus. Zeus and I used to work on the same um, the same team, and I started on that team on March twenty fifth. That's that's how I remember Zeus. Opting for the six iron. Club up. I like this play. Oh, it's too much. Yeah, quality shot that. Yeah, well, you. S Why do we catch up with what Tiger? Woods it was a while before that, though. So I mean, we can find this out. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. This one's going right at the pin here. Ooh, just skin the hole that one. Score card filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Yeah, and I can't remember if you accidentally stopped following me and then refollowed. But yeah, almost almost two years. Penny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt well, short. Well, I know when my first stream was. Oh, that's frustrating. I think I'm bogey. This one for bogey. Well, that's providing some hope to the rest of the field as our leader stumbles with a bogey. And with that hole behind them, I started streaming. Lead ahead Let me of find it. Woods, who's second? And on the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine. I could probably f find out. I don't know if I recorded my first stream because it was very cringe. Oh, look at that. You don't want that ball back. Yeah. Because I was, I was streaming mostly Lego Harry Potter at that time. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. This is going to go long. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Yeah, I think I rated you with, uh, with just... It was just like... It was just Riley and and Julianne on my uh, on my stream, and we raided you because you were playing Lego Harry Potter as well. And it was like, oh, we see a first playthrough. Let's raid him. Tracking. 
Well, that'll play. So, still currently in the lead after that hole, but Tiger Woods is lurking in second place. Penguin, for the record, it was it was late October. Um, off here. Late October 2020 is my first stream. I don't even know if I had told you that I was streaming on my first ones. Opting for the five iron. This needs just a little work to the left-hand side. I wanted to see if I liked it before I started telling anybody I know. Outstanding shot. High quality. And I was really trying to figure out birdies for this player. Uh I was really trying to figure out what I wanted to play. I believe it or not, I streamed um Mario Maker my first couple streams. Ouch, that hurts. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Why don't we catch up with our man in the hot seat? I remember Tiger it too, Woods. Kubini. Well, he's behind, just in second place, looking to leapfrog. I did, I, what I remember most over the last couple couple years um, with you, Kubini, is uh, just when we'd have just either you and I in the stream, on yours or mine, and we just brainstorm fun Let's ideas take a look at the current standings our leader is up by a whopping six shots I will one. never I I don't say never very much on stream but I will never stream Mario Maker on stream ever again it's time to step on I will never stream it uh, ever again I play it all the time but I will never stream it again No harm, no foul there with that shot. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. They need to flight this one down into the wind. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, that's going to go long. There, that 10 mile an hour wind didn't do anything. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Yes, just a bit outside there, Luke. And here we are with the yeah, shot. The, I'm going to be honest. The Mario Maker community is really toxic. So I don't think I'll ever. Like you find some some nuggets like Fenor and, and whatnot. Like I like watching Ryu too. Um, Gotta try and save the par here. But they've made a name for themselves without having to worry about people being a pain in their chat. But um, whenever I streamed Mario Maker, now mind you, I've learned a lot about content creation and streaming since then. This was over two years ago now. Um, they uh, People would show up, exclamation point, add. Um, and then... And then when I went at their level, they would get snarky and chat and, and get mad at me. Um, or the other option was always, um, is this your first time playing the game? Wow, you really suck at this. And that, that was open, that was okay in this chat one, apparently in the Mario Maker rush. community. And it just wasn't for me. Yeah, to, to for the first thing, first first comment you make on somebody's stream is, wow, down. you really suck at this game. Um, you're you're gonna get kicked out of my chat real quick. Sounds good. How close was that to going down? Uh, it's gonna roll off. 
We're going to lose a lot of points this round. They've got the RNG crazy on me. Getting ready to play their third. Big time play that one at the right time too. Yeah. All over the parking lot, but a chip in for par saves the day. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Now look how they attacked this one. They had to balance that because they I it's it's so weird how this RNG flips back and forth. Oh, he's out I would love to see in this rivalry. It's he is stay that way. Um Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd I would love to see the code behind it. Our current leader is enjoying a six stroke advantage. And there's always the sense of a birdie in the air when we stride onto a par five tee. No pressure, though. <coughs> Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. Should we go for it? On the seventh. Do you think? I don't know if we can make it. We'll find out. They're, I think they're lining me up with the iron. Yeah. I think we can make it. Nice. Welcome back. I was making jokes that you like we were sneaking off to watch a episode of Phineas and Ferb to catch up with chat. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. RNG's kicking our butt in the second round. This part here so we're not doing as well. The They're staring this down for Eagle. Welcome back, Kabini. Everybody's coming back. Little old hammer hands putt. Five feet coming up to the cup. Five feet past his hammer hands. Ahead at the top of the leaderboard. What do we catch up with what Tiger Woods is up to? Let's he's catch up to see what he's second doing. Second place, hoping to overtake the leader. Let's check in with Tiger Woods. He's in the sand, so we're screwed. Oh, Rich, how good is that? Oh, that was that's a that's a flaw of this oh, game too. Is whenever they are in the sand. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. Oh my gosh, and you had to you had to ban him on multiple yeah, accounts. I remember that. So Cabini had somebody backseating big time and it got escalated and Cabini ended up banning the user and then they got another account to talk again in chat. Oh my gosh, I remember that. That was hilarious. I remember I went ahead and streamed and you you came into my chat afterwards to tell me about how it escalated. It was so bad, guys. It was terrible. That's some good golf right there. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. 
All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. Oh, nice looking putt. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Yeah. But it was just so bad. Like, it was like, dude, just leave it alone. Oh, I appreciate that. Appreciate it. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. There's a good chance to maintain the momentum. And to this day, by the way, uh, not a lot of people know this. The only time I've watched a portal playthrough was on Kabini's stream. When you were thinking about doing that for a speed run. Do you remember that, Kabini? Kabini was, was debating doing a speed run of the original portal. You like that, didn't you? Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. Is it going to be enough? I think it will. Oh, it's not often you come up against Tiger, but he's really... Yeah, I think that was it. And you were just doing a, a practice run. What do we catch a couple practice runs. Tiger Woods. Well, he's I've never just played Portal. Place, looking to oh, he's in the fun. sand. We're screwed. went down why do you say portal is evil penguin this putt coming up is for birdie i'd be interested to to get more into this psyche here mark it down that's birdie number five the cake was a lie now after that hole I think we had that as a as an emote option as well, Kabini. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. You told you've told me that. Second shot here on the tenth hole. I've just never played it. I I don't know if I ever will. Oh, that's going in the sand. Look at that nine mile an hour wind. It pulled it more than a 17 mile an hour wind would have. Andy RNG. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, chat, what do you think? Do you think, um, you think Tiger should be invited to, to dinner in Hyrule? What the heck? I put backspin on it and dialed it back. No. Look at how much it went past the hole when I put backspin and dialed the power back to a third. Try to get to 16 under. That's your RNG. He's staring down a birdie putt here. A wonderful putt. And that puts some real pressure on their rival. And then it bounces back. It's like it swings so far and then corrects. Yeah, let's see this again. Have this one on repeat. I don't even know how to respond to that RNG. That's fair. I don't, I mean.
He wasn't getting invited. I just. Let's catch up with Ricky Fowler from a moment ago. Oh, we're doing two replays back to back. Brilliant. Simply brilliant. Our leader really starting to gap the field now. Their advantage is nine shots. Man, that soup is smelling good. Always the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. That is heading down the runway, guys. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Setting up here from about 155. Okay, we're putting it right over here. Going with the eight iron here. Needs a little ground help to the left. I don't really agree with that statement, Rich. Oh, that's a great shot. And a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Eight feet to the cup. Yeah, this is looking nice. Thanks, honey. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. Yeah, we're minus six now. We're getting there. And after that fine display, they are holding first spot in the trailing in second place. I appreciate it, Kavini. Is that is that cool down too long? Is that why? Good that birdie cool on the is. last. What's in store now? I don't have it on the screen. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Welcome back. John, you're down there? What's happening? Hey guys, There's been some insane in. RNG. Anderson, as she gets set for her next shot but here on hole number six. It hasn't been that bad. Get in. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. This That's completely fair. Cabini, have you found the free ones? When it's breezy, swing easy. You're welcome. Don't you tell me how to play golf. Victory screech! Appreciate it, Penguin. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Yeah, that one's looking good. Um, this is rolling off the green, first of all. Oh, it's, is it going on in the sand? Okay. Um, if you're on a computer, they're below my stream and below my title. If you're on mobile, ask Penguin how to get to them because I don't remember. Because I'm never on mobile. That's really the only advice I have. Yeah, that's a touch of class. Terrific little chip. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. There's a golf Chance clap. There's an excuse me, princess. These are on rails, looking good. I don't know what else is below. Behind them, they currently lead ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. Oh, game over. Well, excuse and now this me, princess. You found him. You found them, Cabini. I tried that and it didn't do it for me. To be honest. I tried that screen tappy thing and it just was like, nope, you're good. 
opting for the hybrid, I think. And they get a little ground draw here. And it might have... Okay, so in all fairness, I tried it on Faticus's stream, so maybe he just didn't have the correct plugins. Because I don't... Yeah. Now this part. Um, maybe it's because he didn't have sound alerts. I was trying to see if it was like a menu or something. So I'll have to try it on your stream. I'm usually not on mobile for your stream, though. Oh, look at this. Like, this looks like a sledding hill. That's actually really appropriate for what, I, what hit I just did. Now we find out if I need to set the cool down different. And Henny, what are they looking at here? He's looking at around 14 foot, I'd say. Oh yeah, this is tracking nicely. Yes, that was perfect timing. Leading by nine strokes after that one. Okay, first of all, how did you get so close to the tee box, and where is security? Here we have a short par four. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. <laughs> I, I would expect nothing but that from you. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? I'm pretty sure the announcer just called me fat. Certainly to be I was in meetings, so I didn't. Off. I didn't get a chance to catch insanity at all today. Might it be nice to make this one? This one's for Eagle. Hopefully, it was a fun stream. Was that a good line? Terrific shot, almost an eagle. So, still currently in the lead after that hole, Tiger Woods is lurking in second place. <laughs> this is going to make me giggle. <laughs> Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? It, I, when is it not the time to get after it? Okay, like, seriously. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. I'm just being honest. It, yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how to. Ex okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to do this. This might hit that tree, by the way. Oh, he's caught up in some branches there. I'm not any worse than I would have been had I just hit it straight on. So I'm I'm completely fine with that. And here we are with the third shot. Stop. Oh, that was tidy. That should ensure the up and down. That's what I say, Touch. Pam. Butting for birdie. And down it goes. So that's back to back birdies. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Well, this player's mighty fine. Their lead is now nine after that performance. And we're only two rounds in. On the 16th hole. Zeus would be proud that. We're, we're hitting this good of score with a hat. I don't know. Is Zeus still here? Zeus, you, you still in chat? Are you happy with the hat play? Nice. Pretty good shot there. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. Okay, here's where RNG's kicking in, guys. Light this one down. I'm, yeah, we're going in the water, by the way. 
The 12 mile an hour wind. Good kick to the left. Oh yeah, Penguin, you know we added a new one. It's it's cover the locks. Um, try if you want to cover the locks, feel free to throw that in the chat. The response is kind of entertaining in my opinion. Oh, they're gonna walk this one in. Ooh, right by the hole. This is a power putt. Now heading over to Tiger Woods. He's happy. Yep, just came I made that one on the fly today. Here's Tiger. <laughs> I'm glad you approved. I'm glad you approved of that. Out of the rough, into the hall. Thank you very much. Our current leader now enjoying a nine-stroke lead. I still want to do, and I'm sure this would kill DMCA, but um, Here we are the, the Simpsons... Dead putting Which society Luke is to bail your tee shot out uh, to the right in the swale, chip it on two putt, make your bogey, and be happy about that score. <laughs> Why did you say that was it? That's how everybody plays it. It's so true. Yeah, that's fair. It's true. I sat there for four days this year, and it's like 90% of the field is in that little bailout area. Everybody's in the bailout area. It's like area. if I get up and down, I make par. If I don't, that's, it's that's all you do. That's all this hole is. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, there's. Sorry, I got distracted because they were telling jokes on uh, the announcers. Havoc with that shot, disappointing. Um, you're disappointing, sir. But uh, um, there's an episode of The Simpsons that's called Dead Putting Society, and it's where Bart plays Todd in mini golf and drop oh, and. The announcer is hilarious. The ordered. And it's time to recap that play. Perfect distance, perfectly judged, and look at that. Straight in the hole. Yeah, I agree with that, Trey. Wait, a reaction thing? Of oh, funny? I guess I'm confused. Why don't we catch up with what Tiger Woods is up to? He's currently in second place, hoping to overtake. Oh my, how about that for a par? Dude, that was rude. Just you just cut off Henny. Streets ahead now. Like, really? Like, she was and in the middle of a sentence and you cut her off. Shot lead. Think about what you did. Okay, so I watch hockey. I don't know if anybody knows that. And um, I watched the Washington Capitals to the final hole of because of Ovechkin. Well, there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. Oh. I, I didn't know there was that button. I wonder what it does. I have no clue. Um, <laughs> but uh, I watched the Washington Capitals once in a while. And the intermission report people. There's Alexa. Oh um, and this dude and she talks and he talks over her and it's to the point where you can just see her so frustrated because he talks over her and mansplains and it's just so bad and I used to watch this a lot with my, my old roommate because we thought it was hilarious on how much he would talk over her and mansplain um, the game of hockey with the five iron here well, this one's right oh. on the pin. Sounds good. I hope it was a positive reaction. Well, that's beautifully judged. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. This putt is of no... Well, feet. excuse me, princess. A good stroke. And another round safely in the woods. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, they have a separate uh, excerpt this time on her her away from him, so she actually gets to finish a sentence. Uh, and, and I totally know what the producers are doing because they're like, he can't, he has to stop talking over her. They're feeling awfully good about their game, aren't they? But there's lots of golf left to play. They need to make sure they go out 
and continue to play the front foot and try and get this thing done. It is. It's from The Legend of Zelda, uh, the cartoon. I'm Luke Elvin. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. Because there used to be the Super Mario Brothers show, and part of it was Legend of Zelda on Fridays, I believe. So you always got to see one episode of Legend of Zelda on Fridays. Yep. You are correct, Trey. All right, so do we have, what time is it? So I'm gonna stand up for a couple of minutes, get some more water, throw a break in, cause I'm gonna play two more rounds of golf. We'll do a four hour stream tonight. Um, so feel free to get up and stretch. I'm gonna play an ad. You're not gonna miss any gameplay if you sit through the ad. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just finish this Wells Fargo Championship out today. Uh, so I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, we're back. Sprite, I, I don't, I don't know what to say about you. Sprite has been doing a rally when it comes to ads and yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. All right, I'm kind of over Quail Hollow, but let's play two more rounds of golf. Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season long race. These the kids are up to no good. Today's coverage you got three lookouts, four lookouts. Somebody's up to no good over there. Action. Rich Beans, my sparring partner in the booth. I'm Luke Elvey. Hope you're enjoying all the action. I know this player certainly has been rich because they've built this wonderful lead. This Each wonderful lead. Take the bit between the teeth and keep running with it. Well, that's what you expect them to do. But listen, we're playing golf, and golf is uh, about as predictable as the weather. I mean, unless you got a 50-50 chance of getting it right most days. So this player's got to keep their nose. I'm just happy the wind's back to because if they even something remote, normal. They slow down and think about what they've accomplished. It's all over. Oh, I can't wait. Salivating to see how today's play goes. Simmer down, Luke. Goodness. Good shot there, Beamer. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Yeah. Uh, I'll take this opportunity to do two things. One, first, no pressure, but I've been posting these streams onto YouTube if there's any interest. 
and two, free the locks. Got two rounds left with this hat. Going with the hybrid. Okay, slow down. There we go. That's a statement to Tiger Woods. You got nothing, you amateur. So special. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Always nice to have a booty putt. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. That's Good some, start. like, unintended pressure right Looking there. Looking at the standings now, and they're currently in first place, ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. I think that's going to be good. Looks so there's like a chance of burning the that fairway that here. That should find the short stuff. Appreciate it. from around 150 yards here. Thank you for that. Okay, so I think we're just going to hit it. It's probably going to go short, but we'll and see what happens. Nine -nine, I think. This one needs to kick left. It does. This player showing zero signs of any nerves as they play against their rival and playing partner, Tiger Woods. What a fantastic approach. You gonna drop? Oh, so close. Yeah. Somebody, something about that's gonna Just sting. tiny putt is all that remains. And with that hole behind us, they're currently in the lead with Tiger Woods in second place. Time to face a par four. I know I say this all the time, but you have more to that sentence. I feel like you should continue your sentence and say. Yeah, I mean, you know you got my support. That was wonderfully done. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Yeah, for the people who are not familiar. 175, I'd say. Go follow. Go follow Cabini. If they start streaming again, it's a fun time. Going with the seven. Ooh, that one's game. really That's easy right. to do because I can do it on my my stream deck. I told you I got a stream deck, right, Cabini? Okay, Henny. What's he looking at with this putt? This one will run uphill. All right, let's just pop her right over here and see what happens. Has a real chance. Seems to be some sort of a mission. Yeah, it's it, and but I'm streaming like 20 hours a week now, so it does a lot for me because I'm putting so much time into streaming. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Like I'm, I'm literally streaming 80 hours a month. Oh, that's incredible. He's older. Maybe 70. And now this is why you can never get caught. So it was worth it for me. If you're leading a PGA Tour pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. And choosing the eight iron here. I was thinking about clubbing up one, but we'll see what happens. I should have clubbed up one. Now a little off the mark on that approach shot. One of the rare misses for this player day, Luke. They've been handling a lot of greens today. Oh, oh, that's.
There we go. Trey, I've learned the technique of the computer. Worth another look, shall we? Yeah, this is just absolutely textbook, Luke. This is how you do it. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> What would you what would you stream if you started um, streaming again, Kabini? Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. That'll work, that's fine. Lining up from around 160 yards. Put a little bit of backspin on this. This one is right down the pipe. Oh, that's right, you mentioned that the other day. I'm sorry, I forgot. You're talking about doing Spider-Man. Right to you told me this the other day. I'm sorry, I totally forgot. You can mark it down. That's booty number four today. Game face on early here, Luke. And with that hole behind them, they currently lead ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. Time to tee off at the sixth. In good form, birdie at the last, looking to add on to that. I think it'll be fun. I've never played that game either, so obviously I would join knowing a bunch about the game. I think that was what was a lot of fun for me when you were playing Batman, was I knew nothing about that game. It was just fun. Oh. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, but, you know, I also enjoyed watching the Lego Harry Potter series that you played because I knew so much about that game. Oh, cool. Thank you for the claps, uh, Penguin. It was interesting because I knew, I knew so much about Lego Harry Potter. I love the, the Lego games, too. They're so cute and fun. I need to get the Star Wars saga. Um, and uh, when you were playing Lego Harry Potter, it was fun because I know it so well. I was just like, but I, if there was a truth, if there was a test of me never being a backseater, that was it. Because I never tried to backseat you on that. Well, this one's going Pam, right what's your game. favorite Lego game that you've played? I, I would love to know it and try to play it as well. Yeah, and I, I never wanted you to feel... Um, it's, it's so much more fun to figure it out for yourself, right? And I never... I was always worried that when you saw me play it that it would be too many spoilers. Oh yeah, um, if Zeus is still here, I don't know if he is. Uh, Zeus played the Marvel one a and lot. Still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. I want to play the the Skywalker Saga one, but we've reached the eighth hole. Wonder how they will play this hole. Do they want to attack it? If so, they can extend their lead. 
But yeah, we're gonna attack it. What are you talking about, dude? I've never played the Marvel one actually, so I, I feel like I should. I so That's fair, Trie. That's fair. And it, believe it or not, in the last two years, the more I've streamed and the more I've watched streams, the easier it is for me not to backseat in chat. So even though, like, when I first met you, Kabini, and you were playing Harry Potter, uh, Lego Harry Potter, I, uh, it'd be a lot easier for me not, it'd be a lot easier for me in chat now than it was even then. That is absolutely spot on. I don't know, it's kind of that same fun. That's why I really... Um, yeah, that's fair. That's fair, um, fam. Uh, I watched for a little bit. Um, and I watched for... Like, I watched a lot of YouTube replays of streams, and then I watched a little bit before I got an account, and then I got an account, and then, like, two weeks later started What's streaming. Um, sounds All good, right, Trey. Going with an extra club here. But I, I really want... Part of the reason why I'm pushing for Penguin to play Breath of the Wild is because how well I know that game. Oh, well and I won't backseat ever. It's not something I do. But it's fun to see to the different... Well, first learning styles. That was a oh. gallant attempt. Whoa, RNG. Whoa. Um, the different Let's learning styles and then the also the different He's ways people play. For his part. And just with nine holes remaining, Rich, what do you think here is gonna happen for this player? Well, after nine, so far so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting and to see it, for me, it's like especially like on Breath of the Wild, it's fun to watch um, others learn more about the game and have that, I wouldn't call it an aha moment, maybe a discovery moment of, oh, you can do that. Oh, you can do that. I will admit that Salen pinged me the other day asking me about one of the the, the Hebra um, shrines and I responded with do you want do you want a hint or do you want me to tell you where it's at um, and how how much of a hint do you want or or whatnot and we found a good spot before I actually answered the question I should have gone to the left more I knew that was gonna now happen over to Tiger Woods now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Always a joy to see Tiger Woods. Here he is in action. Oh, I thought that one was going in. It's not done yet, folks. Wow, what a save. That was spectacular, Luke. Great work, great shot. Getting ready to play their third. What a shot! Almost went in the back. YouTube playthrough. Look at how far this is rolling out. Playing their fourth shot. That's completely fair, Cavini. Look at this, it's gonna come back at me. 
It's coming all the way back at me. Might have sneezed. Time for the fifth shot. Oh, well played. Saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. That shows Hang your head in shame. Hang your head in shame. Great chip in. I could watch this all day. Yeah, you had to chip it in, otherwise it'd roll back to my feet. We found that out. I was like two feet away from the hole. There's a par save because of it. Zero putts. And looking at the standings now, and they're currently in first place. Yeah, we're in, ahead of time. We're in round three, right? Second. Yeah. Time to tee off on the 11th. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. What, being up by 15 strokes is not intent enough? I don't know. This Luke guy is kind of full of it. Oh, we're going in the sand trap. I did this last time, I think. Taking Ooh, that was close. 170 yards. Looks to be going with the six iron. How does this guy know my club so well? Oh, I should have put backspin on it more. And here we are with the third shot. a touch of class judging it beautifully you're a touch of class oh wonderful effort confirms the par still in the lead now after that hole time to face a par four now I really expect so much more from that state drive look at that I swear, oh, it's Trey back yet. No, Trey's not. I was going to tell Trey something. Around 110 yards to go. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. I should have taken less backspin. That's going to roll off the green. Seem to lose the handle on that shot. Missing it short there. They will definitely. It didn't. It landed a foot from the hole. Let's catch up with Tiger Woods. We're not catching up with Tiger Woods. I normally play through those, but we're not catching up with Tiger Woods. That's a slap in the face. It's going to roll back at me. Uh, that's an unlucky break. It was right at it. This is where that RNG kicks in. I don't know if you uh, guys remember me talking about this earlier. We're going to bogey now. Yeah. There. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. And that was a bogey by our leader. So the rest of the field feeling a little opportunity here to close the gap. Welcome back, it's Trey. You just missed me. Place. Chip hit the pin and, and it came rolling back at me. Trying to Actually, I, I missed two chips right away because of the hell. Uh... And I was going to say something, but I forgot now. Mm. 
There's another one that's gonna roll. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Yeah, that's well judged. And this putt coming up for his par. These two and people right standing on the tee box. Today's rankings after that. Let's begin the 14th. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Well, of course I'm going to play this aggressively. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Hey, Trey. So it's hilarious. I, I'm guessing my phone was listening to us yesterday. But as soon as I left stream, um, uh, Correction. a clip was put. A clip was put on my phone, um, on one of my social medias, of Marshawn being dirty, and and pulling a cheap move. It was hilarious because you and I had just finished talking about that. I forgot I was in the sand. I should have. I should have pulled a lot off of that. No green in rig, but a chance to save their par. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Yeah, and they're claiming that they're not using your microphone. So just outside seven feet to the hole. This is what they have left for par. Oh, There's your RNG. And this one will be for bogey. And with we're not going to lose. Team we're team so team far team ahead. But Woods in place. that's where the RNG really starts kicking in, guys. I don't know if you've noticed me missing a lot more putts and things rolling off the green a lot more. But yeah, heading down Broadway. Immediate, immediately had Marshawn videos in my in my uh, feed. I'm trying to stay clear of that bunker. Perfect. Well played, mate. And here we are with the third shot. Roll off the green. That's a high quality recovery shot. Such soft hands. This one's for Birdie. Hey, that's a chance. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. And I know if Penguin's still here. I've said this before. I don't know if you were present when I said this, and but maintaining top spot on I the think the New York, New York Rangers are going to do well in the playoffs this year in hockey. They are looking mean. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. They're looking pretty fierce. And I watched another Senators game, by the way, Trey. Ottawa is looking a lot better than they have the past couple of years. I don't know if they'll make the... I think they'll make the playoffs, and I think they'll do well. And the Gophers should be... Did, did Gophers take the Frozen Four? It's got to be close. Nicely done. From around 180 yards out. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. It's going to roll off the front because of RNG. Oh, it did stop. Oh, well done. 
We didn't even have that much of a backspin on it. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Straight back up this hill can be firm here. That's okay, and I want to hold that against you. Oh, what a great stroke. Okay, steady now. Big putt for Pai coming up. Obviously, I'm not going to hold it against you. Oh, I'm not a fan of, of Crosby, so it's hard for me to be a Penguins fan. Oh. Uh, Was it live or was it on TV? Oh, so close. And I'm proud of you for seeing at least one hockey game, because I, I, I know you, and and I feel like you saw a hockey game because of a friend. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. Okay, so we got to get Penguin back up to speed on things. Um, Penguin fell asleep. So what did? What did Penguin miss? Oh, I said Penguin. Looks to be going with a high I'm high calling high. it. I don't know if you've heard me call it before, but the New York Rangers are looking really good this year. They're going to go deep in the playoffs, I think. Yeah, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Oh, nice. Right. Short with that effort. Setting up to play the shot here from the green And side. Ottawa's looking pretty good too, Penguin. FYI. And then I asked if if the Gophers won the Frozen Four yet or if they're still playing. And that's an impressive little And I, you know me. You know I'm not a fan. I'm a huge fan of New York's not my fan. Like not my on the leaderboard after that hole. I've never seen that film. And now teeing off on the final um, hole of this round. But Penguin knows I'm not a New York fan. Um, for me to, but but I look at hockey with with you know even if I'm not a fan of them with a pretty neutral lens, and I think New York's going to be. Well, that's a handy shot. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Setting up here from about 195 yards. Let's put it right there. Yeah. It's a Disney film, isn't it? It's one of the few Disney films I haven't seen. Wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Did you have a nice nap, Penguin? Never up, never in, they say, Rich. Par putt coming up here. And with that, this round comes to a close. And honestly, the East is looking stronger than the West. Yeah, that's fair. We got one round of golf left. Um, but the Three East is looking stronger than the West in the NHL this year. I still think Colorado is probably one of the favorites in the West. It's, I, I'm, I hate to say Vegas is one of the favorites too, but man, I don't think the Wild can keep up with them. The Wild are outperforming what they're supposed to. Like They're doing like what the Vikings did. They're performing better than, than really what... They're in a rebuilding year, so... All right, one more round with the hat. Ooh. I like the diamonds better, but these these yoga pants are looking pretty sweet too.
All right, let's go. Yeah, we're getting close on the tournaments. It's proud to bring you the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Wells Fargo Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Luke Elvey here. Look at that. Rich Beam in the booth and Rich Looks like the Grand Floridian. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? Luke, this player has got a massive lead, and sometimes those are the worst to have because you feel as a player the only way that you can lose it is if you mess it up and trust me somewhere in the back of their mind this player understands that so it's going to be a nervy start no doubt to this final round let's wait i don't, really, I don't think he knows who he's points. talking about emma does not get nervous that's nicely done even he with a hat on near the 200 yard marker Let's see what kind of four, four mile an hour wind we're getting. Oh, Trey, look at that four mile an hour wind. And that was a bit of a misfire. Not taking enough club to get it there. A chance now from the bunker for an up and down. Lovely shot into a few feet. Yeah, the the he four mile an hour wind pulled it much further than it normally does. But I should have known since I'm ahead by so much that it was going to do that. Very nice par indeed. Very but, solid hole play. You know. And now that finds him in first place. Yeah, I know. That's you. You've seen 19 mile an hour wind, and it not doing anything. Time to tee off at the second. Let's see what seven does. Not nearly as much as four. Oh, absolutely flushed. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. Okay, so we're not, we're probably going to go short, but I have to chance going short with that eight mile an hour wind. Yeah, see, the eight didn't even do anything, but yeah. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. That was really close to rolling back. Six feet. Probably like two feet shorter, it would have rolled back. This one started out on a good line. No, it didn't. And this one is for his par. He sits in first. So you'll see after, like, when the RNG resets, you'll see me overshoot that putt. I'm not Instead sure of undershoot it, because then up. I'll play like the RNG. So, it, yeah. I'm really waiting for I'm a bunny to sneak back but i think there's some video editing going on yards here yeah that's exactly true and you've seen it firsthand so much like that six mile an hour win i'm putting it 15 feet to the left going with the seven should find the green here. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. And I wanted to go more, 
but then it would have gone in the bunker. Oh, he's in the bunker. If he's hitting it in. Tiger Woods as he gets set for his next shot here on the fifth. Eleven feet to the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. I was talking to Zeus about this the other day, and he's like, "That orange you would drive me mad." I don't really care about it, but it's interesting because I know what's happening behind the scenes. He's currently sitting in first place, and I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. I'm extreme. I like to think I'm extremely chill, but. to have chosen the seven iron just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right yeah and then there's the 35 35 foot six mile an hour wind yeah a quality shot from him he'll be pleased let's have some water uh, while tiger update. plays hey guys we are checking in with tiger woods as he gets set for his next shot here on the sixth he was in the sand of course he's hitting that play, in shall we didn't quite get the approach close enough, so a long putt in front of them. Looking for another birdie here. All right, I haven't seen Bomb for a couple of weeks. I feel like right before we end stream, he's going to show up. This one looking really good. Oh, that would have been nice to make. Just a short putt remaining here. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. And yeah, he was catching up to you until you gave me those 20 bits. You had like a... Next up, you had 114, and he was slowly catching up. But then you dropped the 20 bits again. That dog will hunt. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. This is gonna come up short, but I don't want to go here. long. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. Uh, you're a moderator. You could have done a poll. <laughs> Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, that makes up for the bad RNG. Oh, oh, that's right. You're on your phone, so you probably couldn't do it. I think you gotta have to have it. I think you have to have the browser. Absolutely. Perfect. Have you been editing? Because that was what I called out. I was like, I bet you Cabini's editing. Uh, Penguin is, suggested a poll. Uh, will Bomb show up today? Ha, I guessed it. Um, and still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. This is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double. Has anybody digits. voted on, sure the on Penguin's poll? Now on the tee, oh, the we have a strong push for no. Bomb is not going to show up today. Interesting. Going with the five wood. We're just going for the center of the, the green this here. This one could take a little bounce to the left. 
It's going to roll off the front. That's fine. Well, that's not what they were looking for. They're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par. Yeah, that's the current pole. I say go for it, man. Be the rebel. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. This is. I mean, we could do we could do a prediction. This and, looks like it's got this. And really put money on it. That's well hold. But I've only got. What's going on? Talk to us. I've only got about 15 minutes of stream left, anyway. So. As he gets set for his next shot here on the eighth. This one's a 14 footer. Just didn't draw. Hey, go for it, man. Let's it's your it. channel points. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. And after that part, they're looking for something good here. This is going to pull the 15 mile an hour wind version because I didn't move it over. Oh my gosh. Lovely effort that. Penny, what's the play? I didn't need it. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's starting to get up now on the course and it's directly into the face. Wasting all of your channel points on if Bob's going to show up or not. I love it. Uh, I don't know, but I, I can guess. Penguin. Victory Screech! Getting ready to play their third. I, d I just know that. Pam hasn't been here long enough to have that many points. How close was that to going down? <gasps> Just six feet between he and the hole. I'm a bunny. Oh, that might have that might have blocked the correct dance. There it goes. Ooh. There's your RNG. A par putt on the table. And this is yeah, I, I know, uh, Trey, you the cleared the 100,000 uh, last stream. Them here today in this final round of action. Next hole is a short par four. How is he going to play this? Lay back. Or and you can gift it to yourself, to too. Wait, I asked you to wait? Oh, just absolutely a oh you know, I did because, um, uh, because I was going to change up a couple of my emotes. Um, so that's the reason why I asked you to wait. Second shot here on the eighth. That's you broke the keyboard with how many points you have, Trey. You broke Cabini's keyboard in shock. Yeah, that's why. Okay, I remember why I told you to wait. I was like, why did I tell you to wait? Because I'm gonna upgrade the, the emotes. Um, Cause I'm not happy with the shrine or or oh, really great. any of the Zelda ones. Johnny Mac, what's the news? Hey guys, we are checking in with Tiger Woods as he gets set for his next shot here on the tenth. <laughs> a 
All right, so the poll ended. And uh, you guys don't think, you don't think Bomb's gonna show up. Three feet to go to the hole. Don't miss this, they can be costly. Yeah, I need to do my taxes still. Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie. And maintaining top spot. Trey has a point, but I also understand that you're probably um, uh, Mika's probably in the way playing interference on the couch as well. And you did threaten a second nap. I don't know, what is your record of how many naps you've had during a single stream of mine? Looks like this one's hitting safe. Just out of curiosity. And he's down there. Wind starting to get up, but it's helping, which is nice. to have opted for the eight iron okay well, maximum of three naps in a single in a single stream aggressive but fair the wind was howling but that didn't matter just a four footer remaining don't want to miss it could be costly this is their look at birdie not a bad line miss nice one fourth booty of the day and I like it two in a row he's feeling it You both have points now. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Yes, but if they start thinking about it, that's where the danger happens. They have to keep their head down and keep playing on the front foot if they want to see this thing home. Oh, wow. That's quite the crit critical lens that Cabini gave you. Try harder, Penguin. Wow. Don't worry, Kabi. You have to understand. Uh, I'm right there with you, Pam. Um, Kabi, my average stream right now is three and a half hours. And um, that's a difficult ask. Um to get more than three naps in, in three and a half hours. Like I'd have to do a marathon stream for her to, to get much more. That's going in the sand trap. And here we are with the third shot. It's gonna roll off the back of the green. This is gonna roll off. This is that hole. And here we are with their four. Yeah, I was gonna say it's it's after midnight there. And a par par awaits him. Nice line. Well hold. John, give us an update. What that's shape? fair. To, that's fair, pal. Checking in with Tiger Woods as he gets set for his next shot here on the twelfth. Chance to move to eight under here. One thing I'm excited for being back in Minnesota is renter's credit. I know you don't get that as a homeowner, but And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard.
Next up is this two-shot hole. That drive heading straight towards the cut stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, we don't, as renters in Colorado, you don't get any of that. Like so not only do they screw you with a ridiculous amount of rent, um, you don't get any you don't get any credit for it. The the owner gets all of it. Going with the five iron here. This one needs to kick left and kick left hard. Yeah, that looked pretty good the yeah. whole way. Like so, believe it or not, one of my joys when I came back, I was like, oh, and I get renter's credit in, in September. Because it comes so much later, and it's kind of like that surprise check. I was like, oh, yeah. And racking up their fifth bird of the day. Currently in first position. And it's just the, the simple, simple today. pleasures in life. In Dude, we're 20 way. strokes ahead. Let's like, this lengthy par four. Well, this should find the short grass. I wonder if you're able to, to count Mika as a dependency there, uh, Penguin. What kind of shot are they facing here? I feel you should be able yeah, to count pets as a here. And choosing the eight iron here. I shot that. That should find the surface. Same. Well, and as renter credit, you don't have to, but I just throw it all at the same time. Tiger, but he's really proving himself out there today. John, what's going on out That's there? That's fair, Trey. Because I like it. Checking in with Tiger Woods. Yeah, it's, it's like set for his it's so weird to me that it takes so long for the the Did property the taxes. Rich needed it. It's like, oh, you get way, three weeks, you'll get your bar. your taxes back, but your property tax is six months. What? Sharp I'm so David confused. Especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Oh, That's just that was looking good, wasn't it? Putting for a par here. And there it is. Still in the lead now after that hole. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase pack is good enough to catch them. Okay, at 20 shots up, I don't think the chase pack's going to catch them. I'm just being honest. That's going to roll off the green. No. Left yourself an opportunity. Heck yeah, this we putt did. is for a big two on the scorecard. My thumb slipped off the controller. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. This is what they have left for a part. It was on a good line. That's going to roll. A seven footer right here. We're double bogeying this, by the way, guys. Well, oh, we got a single bogey. Hope for the rest of the field there as they put down a bogey on the scorecard. And after that hole. Oh, Xander Schauffels. With Xander Schauffele in second. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. I kind of want to be off the green, but I don't want to be in the bunker. 
no harm, no foul there with that shot. Time for the second shot at the 14. Are you kidding me? There we go. That was sensational, Luke. That makes up for the bogey last. We usually eagle right after we bogey, or at least birdie it. This one should be practiced at home. And I think Penguin earlier had a posture check. I I uh, I straightened up. By the way, thank you for that posture check. And with that hole behind them, this player currently holds down top spot on the leaderboard. And Xander Shoffley is second. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Heck yeah, we are. Awesome stuff. Well, Henny approves of that. Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. All right, what's, what's our play here, guys? Should we just go for it? I figured we'd, we'd plug it in the sand, but... Oh, stale. I mean, it's not any worse. Thank you. That was actually good, really well timed. The inner Severiano Ballesteros here. This needs good hands. All right. Let's see if this goes off the back. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Uh oh, it's gonna roll off the front of the green. <laughs> Just a fantastic man you shot. all Guaranteed are just like man seven feet to the cup nobody is really Ooh, nice excited line. about my beautiful shot seemingly an insurmountable lead with just four to play gotta like his position a quick look at the leaderboard has this player currently in first place with Xander Shoffley in second. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Heck yeah. Water break. Time All right. The second shot. Sorry, Emma, you're going to have to do the booty waggle for a minute because I'm having a water break. we got three holes left. We're calling water break. I feel like we should have some... Oh, that works. Water break sound. Hydration. I've actually emptied my glass of water with this water break. All right, I'm out of water, so we're going to have to stop the wiggle waggle. What's the oops? Did you not mean to do the water break? Opting for the five wood. 
No, it was fine. I just had me finish my water. He's found the surface. Good chance here. <laughs> Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. I'm not sorry to stop Emma's wiggle waggle. I, I, I mean, I don't hate Emma's wiggle waggle either. Thank you. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Dude, what a shame. That was like a 60-foot putt. Here. Let's see if he can make it. Look at that come off the line. Look how much it pulled to the left because of that. The RNG there. Well, they say a bogey pleases someone. The rest of the field buoyed now after that drop shot by our leader. And after that hole, this player currently holds top spot on the leaderboard with Xander Shoffley in Yeah, seven. Trace on the Two RNG. To go, Luke. I know who I like. And I'm totally fine. That would have been hilarious. We're keeping that clap around in case we, you know, there's somebody who wants to throw a sarcastic golf clap in. All right, this is going to go long. Seven mile an hour like wind. The five wood. Yeah. Like, like, well done. You suck at golf. Cabini said so. Yeah, the slow clap. It's better to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Air mailed the green with that approach. Oh, this is rolling all the way back to me. FYI. Oh, I love hands like that. The touch of a wizard. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. You guys got two holes left and a little bit of post wrap to figure out who we're going to raid. If we're going to raid anybody. That's inside the range. This next putt is for bogey. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. When you're saying rude joke, are you thinking like rude, rude joke, like Emma wearing a hat rude? Didn't you? What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 165 yards. Well, let's see what happens there. We're going to the bunker. That's fair. And, and that is a bit more rude approach. than Emma Got wearing a hat. The wind affected the golf ball there. A chance to chip in here and snatch the title. I'll admit that was a good chip though. Beauty of a chip shot there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Well, that's a beauty. You there we go, Tiger. That's the Wells Fargo Championship. How about that? You can take that win to the bank, Luke. Yeah, I got like $100 for that four days of golf. We'd be better off working somewhere else. I don't even know what Jeremiah's getting paid if I'm only making 100 bucks a, a tournament. And wow, what a rivalry that was. Let's recap some of the results. Well done, Henny Koyak. Thanks for joining us on course today. Thank you, Luke. The pleasure was all mine. I got to see some incredible shots and some... Henny got to see some incredible back. shots. What a day. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby and Rich B, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.
All right, who do we got out here? Anybody want to raid anyone? Faticus is on? I don't think he is. I can I can get I can check, but I don't think he is. No, I don't see him up. Emmy's playing Legend of Zelda. We can Breath of the Wild. You guys want to watch Resident Evil? There's a random dude on Ken's. Ken stream. Yeah, let's let's raid her. Oh, we can raid Ken. Ken, I know she's helped you out. There. Well, thanks for everybody for, for hanging out. Um, I'm just going to go back to the title screen. But I appreciate everybody hanging with me. We're going to free free the hat again. I appreciate you all hanging out. Please stick around for the raid. It's all about community. And like I say, we're all here to hang out and build build each other up. So we'll talk to you all soon. And we'll see over on, oh yeah, free the locks, free the locks. But if you join that raid, it'll be fun. Um, playing Resident Evil 4. So, yeah. Join the party, uh, dude wearing a Nissan shirt right now, but yeah. All right. Thanks a bunch, and we'll catch you in Ken's stream.